And we say good morning to you. We're live again. Welcome. We're at Bristol Motor Speedway again on this Monday, December the 4th, 2017. And our countdown to Christmas, we're down to 20 days. You can do the math. you got 20 days to get it all done. And we're inside of three weeks now until Christmas 2017. We say good morning to you. We are here with the backdrop, of course, here in the lobby of the Bristol uh, Bruton Smith Building here at Bristol Motor Speedway. And obviously behind us is the very, very beautifully decorated Christmas tree here in the lobby of the BMS Building. We'll talk about tickets. You can get tickets. What a great Christmas gift is to get tickets here and we've got the folks here the phones uh, in fact i'm looking and we've got what four or five folks and they're all on the phone right now so this is the time of year folks definitely call in and get tickets and uh, it's a great stocking stuffer to wake up on christmas morning and see the fact that they've got or you've got tickets again uh, under the tree for bristol motor speedway for 2018 because it's not that far away and of course we made the wrap on the uh, season, of course, last week with the awards dinner. Mike Hedrick's going to join us coming up, and we got lots to talk about even in the off season here. So uh, we are, thank you, Jeremiah. So we are very excited about being here, and so uh, we are again in the lobby of the Bristol Motors. Bristol, I keep. I'm excited to be here. I'm in the lobby of the Bruton Smith Building here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Is what I want to say on this Monday. December the 4th. Lots to talk about. We got college basketball, of course, the obvious, the college football playoffs. Did they get it right? We'll see. Uh, I think they did after looking. And first, I thought it should have been Ohio State. Then the more I looked at it and researched it and just kind of studied it, I thought, nah, no. Because last year, Penn State got the free pass. Or actually, I'm sorry, Penn State earned the right to be there. And last year, it was Ohio State's turn to get to bump somebody that should have been there. So this year, Mm, and I don't think Ohio State should be there. Alabama's your better team. I think they got it right. So the Final Four set Clemson, Alabama, Oklahoma, and Georgia. And so we'll talk about that. Still no word yet on what's going on in Knoxville, although Phil Fulmer is very much behind the scenes now and then in front of the scenes as the AD, uh, beating the bush to get a coach. Keep hearing over the weekend it's Les Miles. He's reached out to him, the former coach at LSU. Why would you not? I've said that from the get-go. I'm kind of halfway right here on my predictions here on the show because I said in the beginning uh, Philip Fulmer should be either the new head coach or the athletic director, one of the two, a guy that obviously bleeds orange. And so, you know, some folks have said he sabotaged John Curry. You know, John Curry did enough squirrely things. He kind of sabotaged himself, I think. So I don't think you can really blame it on Fulmer. Uh, I think John Curry did enough goofy things to uh, necessitate him being let go. So... Anyway, that's where we are. There's no word yet uh, as of right now this morning about what's going on in Knoxville, so we will keep you posted. Uh, if, do you think they got it right? Let me know on the Tom Taylor Sports Show Facebook page. Uh, again, we would love to hear from you today. So, And we're working out a... Uh, Working out a new way to be able to interact with you all the time, not just some of the time. So, And I think I hopefully got the microphone corrected, and I worked on that over the weekend, too, with thanks to Jeremiah Clark. Let me, let me brag on that guy for just a few minutes before we get into the break. He and Kevin. No, he and Michael. See, I keep thinking Kevin something else. Michael Smith and Jeremiah Clark from AppalachianDigital.com. We've got Betsy Holloman coming on here in just a few minutes from Speedway and Lights to talk about the, uh, the event and also to talk about the website you can go to. And so uh, I've got to brag on this gentleman. He and his partner, co-owners of Appalachian Digital. Digital, they do a phenomenal job. They can help me. They can help you. Just go to AppalachianDigital.com and check it out. And so they they get her done. And so we appreciate them very much. They've helped several folks. And I know they're getting ready to help another gentleman in Blumville that we can't say yet, but I know they've picked up his account to create a new website for him. So it's all good. Hello, Sunshine. How are you? Just fine, thank you. They got the neatest people up here, right there in the gift shop, the Speedway World gift shop, and up here at Bristol Motor Speedway. I saw Ben Trout up here a few minutes ago, and Patrick Savage. Of course, Drew's going to be down here in a little while to talk to us. Also going to be on the show, Betsy Holloman from Speedway Lights. Mike Hedrick, top of the hour, going to talk to us about NASCAR. Why would you not, since we're, since we're sitting in the lobby of the Bruton Smith building at Bristol Motor Speedway. So it's all good. We're going to be back up here one more time before Christmas, and, and so... We love coming up here, and when I say it's not that far away, it's not that far away from racing for 2018. Here's a chance to win some money. How about this? Look right here. You can, and I know Renee McNeil, saw her yesterday at church. She said, Tom Taylor, I'm going to win this. $100 cash and some other prizes as well. Every time you share or retweet this show, you automatically enter yourself to win $100 cash and other prizes. Again, now through next Thursday, December the 14th, we will announce that next Friday we'll be on the road at uh, Food City in Blunt, Vegas, in Blountville next Friday on the 15th. $100 cash winner. There's going to be some backup multiple prize winners. There's going to be multiple winners, but the big one's $100 cash. One share or retweet 
equals one entry. There is no limit on the number of entries you can make, so have at it. And I know Renee McNeil, good luck, because she is sending it out to everybody, and we appreciate that very much. Before we go to the break, we'll come back and jump into sports. We dedicate our show to the man who hung on the cross. We unashamedly do that. And today's verse is out of the book of Numbers. Numbers 6, 24 through 27 says, I will bless you and keep you. I will make my face to shine upon you. I will turn my face towards you and give you peace. Bing. You know, I went to get a new bell the other day. What, what kind of luck do I have? <laughs> she might be a redneck. If you go to the store and buy a bell, we're talking about a bell. We're sorry, we're out of stock. How, okay, a bell. I didn't realize they're in that high demand. So this thing's wimpy at best. We get this new bell. But anyway, that's the verse today. It's just my luck. I go into an office supply store to buy a bell. And we're sorry, we're out of stock. Okay. I will bless you and keep you. I will make my face to shine upon you. I will turn my face towards you and give you peace. Out of the book of Numbers, 6, 24 through 27. Quick break. We'll jump in and go. we got college basketball. we got ourselves a hot basketball team in Knoxville. Rick Barnes' Tennessee men's team, red hot. The Lady Vols of Holly Warlick, red hot. And so right now, that is very much a positive and an otherwise negative scenario in Knoxville around this football situation. But right now, the basketballers are doing very nicely. Also, the Lady Bucks get a big win. We'll break down college basketball for you. College football got some Major League Baseball news on the Stanton front. We've got some uh, Comeback Player of the Year awards announced yesterday. We'll let you know about that. The latest college football poll, of course, you know, the AP poll, eh, it's kind of anticlimactic now. I mean, you've already got the folks you want, uh, the top four. And, of course, we have the 477, seems like, bowl games that have been announced. We'll run those down for you as well. So all that straight ahead. Did they get it right? Let me know what you think. Go to the Tom Taylor Sports Show Facebook page and let me know if you think they got it right. Oh, by the way, as we go to the break, here I got it right. We were there Saturday and had to check this out. Phil's Dream Pit, here's your barbecue sauce I've been telling you about. See right there? It is the original sweet, and it is the sweet fire and original sweet barbecue sauce. There it is, nicely wrapped in the box. That's what you get when you stop by Phil's off the Eastern Star exit. Check that out. Ten bucks plus tax. A nice little decorative box. You can... Leave it as is, like we have here. Put a bow on it or wrap it up. Put it under the tree for someone who loves barbecue and fills dream pit. There it is. And so they've been selling a whiz out of these. $10 plus tax, two of these bottles, again, in the decorative box. And so we're all about that at Phil's Dream Pit. We'll be there broadcasting live next uh, next Tuesday here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Show number 646 today. And they said it would never last. I laugh. I laugh and laugh and laugh because when the man's running the show, there is nothing impossible. So that's what uh, the pastor talked about yesterday in the church, about the fact that when he's involved, the uh, big things, talking about Caleb and Joshua and all that, about the ten spies went across and uh, checked everything out. And he said, you know, when he's got his hand on it, there is nothing that can't be accomplished, can't be done. And I'm living proof. Quick break. We'll come back. We'll talk sports. We're live here again at Bristol Motor Speedway, the Bruton Smith Building at the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. It's model your clothes out with Jim Employee pricing and 20% off on 17 models of Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City. It's a great time to take advantage of closeout savings on our selection of over 300 Chevys to choose from. 17 1500 work truck 23995, 17 track 17548, 17 cruise 16488, 17 spark 10950, 17 Malibu 18985. Closeout savings, Saturday parts and service hours, and shopping online 24 7 will leave you asking, how do they do that? Hello, this is Phil Pipkin, owner of Phil's Dream Pit. The holidays are here, and Phil's Dream Pit has the perfect gift idea for you. Uh, we have our exclusive Phil's Dream Pit brand of barbecue sauces, two 16-ounce bottles of original and sweet fire in a convenient gift box, a great gift for any co-worker, friend, relative, anyone would love it. And the best part, it's only $10 plus tax. Phil's Dream Pit barbecue sauces, the perfect Christmas gift. 
Call 349-6437 or at philsdreampit.com. Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at FCA.org. And we're back live with the Tom Thrower Sports Show. Thanks for being with us on this Monday, December the 4th, on the road at Bristol Motor Speedway. Again, the tickets are on sale right now. Tickets for Food City 500 or the Bass Pro Shop NRA Night Race, just 60 bucks. With kids 12 and under is paying $10. Of course, season tickets, that's the best value, including five great days of short track racing here at the world's fastest half mile. The world's last great coliseum at Bristol Motor Speedway are on sale now. Adult tickets starting at just $149 and kids' season tickets just 20 bucks to get in there for five days of racing. Of course, two days in the spring and three days in the fall. So uh, call Bristol to 423 Bristol here at the Speedway or 866-415-4158 or just go to BristolMotorSpeedway.com. And so the tickets are on sale and ready to go, and it is... Uh, it's a good time to do that. Good stocking stuff for time to wake up on Christmas morning and say, man, I got tickets to go to Bristol coming up in 2017, of course, or rather 2018. Of course, the 2017 winners, Jimmy Johnson in the spring with the Food City 500 and the Bass Pro Shop NRA Night Race, my man, Kyle Bush. We got a story about him winning the Snowball Derby. We won't steal Mike Hedrick's thunder, but we'll talk about that coming up here in just a little while. A couple of birthdays today. I like it. Birthday greetings and salutations going out to Wink Martindale having a birthday today. The game show host, uh, I didn't realize he was still with us, but he is. Wink Martindale is 84 today. One of my all-time faves, Jethro Bodine, Max Bear Jr. in real life, 80 today. You know you're getting old when Jethro Bodine of the Beverly Hillbillies is 80 today. And one of the good guys, good actor, Jeff Bridges, 68 today. Love the movie. In fact, we're going to watch it tonight in his honor. True Grit, the uh, remake. I can do nothing for you now, son. Love Jeff Bridges and True Grit. Great movie. And so he's having a birthday. 68, Max Bears, 80, and Wink Martindale having a birthday. The game show host, 84. Birthday candles and his cake here on this Monday, December the 4th. Let's take a look now at what's going on in college football. New coach, we told you this was going to happen last week. Uh, we told you he was going to get the interview, and he did, and he got the job. Herm Edwards, the new coach at Arizona State, taking an NFL approach to this uh, situation at Arizona State. So if you're Tennessee, would you not go after at least go talk to the guy that got that got fired, Todd Graham? I don't know. Uh, the guy had a pretty good run at Arizona State before they canned him. So anyway, Herm Edwards, the new coach. Edwards, 63-year-old ESPN analyst and former NFL head coach. His last coaching gig, 2008, with the Kansas City Chiefs. He's not been in the college game since 1989 when he was a defensive backs coach at San Diego State. So Herm Edwards, the new coach at Arizona State, replacing the fire Todd Graham, who, again, had a pretty good record. So, again, if you're Tennessee, we, we have no updates on the Tennessee situation other than Philip Fulmer's been talking to Les Miles or at least reached out to him. But here's another guy that, uh, you know, 
And since Gus Malzahn, we got this story. Malzahn says no to Arkansas. He's staying put at Auburn. So you have Kevin Sumlin out there. Les Miles is out there now. Has been. Uh, Todd Graham, the coach of Arizona State. So anyway, there's some opportunities to get some coaches. And we'll see how they do down in Knoxville. Louisiana Lafayette firing their coach yesterday. Mark Hudspeth has been fired after a 5-7 and seven season. The Raging Cajuns went 4-4 four and four in the Sunbelt Conference this year. Lost to Southern Miss in the Carriers New Orleans, Bowl, New Orleans Bowl last year. 2017 season was the third straight losing season. Hudspeth went 50-38 and 38 in seven years as coach of the Raging Cajuns. However, 51 of those wins were vacated by the NCAA due to NCAA sanctions. His official record is 28 and 38. Again, Tim, I'm sorry, Mark Hudspeth from Louisiana Lafayette fired yesterday, so the Raging Cajuns are looking for a new coach. As we told you, no story updates on the Tennessee football search, although it has been reported that Philip Fulmer led a search with Les Miles long before John Curry got replaced as the athletic director, so he reached out to him on his own. Uh, the contact was not direct between Miles and the Vols. It's between Phil Fulmer and Les Miles, and we don't know what to to make of that. So uh, this guy, check out the numbers. This is the guy I think we ought to get. One fourteen wins, thirty four losses in twelve seasons. The guy loses thirty four game or loses twelve games. I'm sorry, thirty four games in twelve seasons. You can do the math. That's not many. He won three Southeastern Conference West titles. Two. Southeastern Conference championships and a national championship in 2007. I'd be all over him like duck on a June bug, at least say yay or nay. Also, Southern Cal offensive coordinator T. Martin, former Vol quarterback, could be interested in returning to Knoxville to call the plays for the Vols, which is what I said. Maybe they're listening to me down in Knoxville. A lot of folks have been listening to the show in other parts of the area outside of the Tri-Cities. Maybe so. I said put Fulmer in as the head coach, bring in T. Martin as the offensive coordinator, grooming for a couple of years. You know, that still has not been ruled out. He could be the head coach. He's got enough folks down there to help run the athletic department. He could be the interim head coach and athletic director at the same time if they wanted to do that. And then bring in somebody like T. Martin to groom him to be the head coach. Tell him that former's here for two years, one year, whatever, to stabilize the program. And so, you know, they fired Butch Jones on November the 12th. And we're getting ready to hit a month now and still no coach. Not quite a month, but... Uh, interesting. Gus Malzahn says, I am staying, and with good reason. Malzahn, the head coach at Auburn, got a contract extension and a new contract, $49 million over seven years. You can do the math. About $7 million a year, Malzahn had been the top target at Arkansas. Of course, Malzahn is a Arkansas native, a legendary high school coach in the Fayetteville area, former Hogs offensive coordinator. He's now 45 wins and 21 defeats in five seasons at Auburn. Since he's been there, I mean, if you're an Auburn fan, how do you how do you argue this guy's success? Same with Miles at LSU. Why do they fire the guy with what he did for the program, what he has done for the program, what he did at that point for the program? But Miles on won the 2013 Southeastern Conference title, the 2017 this year the SEC West title has been a postseason discussion in November every year except 2015. They will take on Central Florida in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl on New Year's Day, which we are giving away tickets to. We've got a pair of tickets to win to go to the Peach Bowl in Atlanta on New Year's Day, 1230 kickoff. Uh, how do you win that? You go to Chick-fil-A, CFAJC on your Facebook page or Instagram and find out how you can, again, win tickets, a pair of tickets to go to the Peach Bowl to see Auburn and Central Florida play on New Year's Day in Atlanta. Well, did they get it right? I guess that's the burning $100,000 question. Picking Alabama or Ohio State, here's the reasoning from Kirby Hokut, who is the committee chairman. It really doesn't matter. What's done is done. We're just getting ready to go play football. But just for saying's sake, the selection committee looked at a one-loss Alabama team with that loss coming against the final ranking number seven Auburn team in a very competitive game, and it was. We compared that to a two-loss Ohio State team, obviously with one loss at home to number two Oklahoma, but more damaging, and this was the key, the 31-point blowout loss to unranked Iowa on the road. Spent a great deal of time last night into the morning, beginning at 7.30 this morning. This was Saturday night, Sunday morning, talking about the full body of work. Now that the complete season is in front of us, the selection committee just favored Alabama's full body of work over that of Ohio State's. 
It was consistent over the course of the year as we saw Alabama play week in and week out. Our rankings showed when we start with a clean piece of paper every week that Alabama was the better football team, and therefore they're going, and they are in, to the Final Four. Alabama, the only team to make the college football playoff in each of its four years of existence. It's the second team in as many years to make it without a conference title after Ohio State. Remember last year? I was mad about that last year because Penn State should have gone. They did not. They picked Ohio State. So Ohio State got in in a Big Ten champion Penn State a year ago with SEC champion Georgia also in the first year in which two teams from the same conference participating in the four-team tournament. So uh, it is set, set and ready to go. Crimson title play number one Clemson, the Sugar Bowl, New Year's night. Number two Oklahoma and number three Georgia playing the other national semifinal in the Rose Bowl earlier that afternoon in Pasadena, California. It's going to be two great football games. Those two winners will play January the 8th for the national championship in Atlanta. Tom Taylor Sports Show. We're live at Bristol Motor Speedway on this Monday, December the 4th. This week's schedule tomorrow will be at Movement Mortgage, the big open house tomorrow night. We'll be there again in Boone's Creek right across from the Cracker Barrel with our buddy, Jeremy Livesey and all the folks there tomorrow. We're going to be there broadcasting live. Can't wait. And we'll be there on Tuesday. Wednesday will be at Chick-fil-A, the crossings in North Johnson City. Thursday at Champion Chevrolet. And Friday will be at Food City on Eastman Road in Kingsport on a Food City Friday. So we're here today again at Bristol Motor Speedway where the tickets are on sale for the 2018 racing season and that season ticket uh, five great days of short track racing for hundred and forty nine dollars you can do the math uh, it's less than thirty bucks a day to come up here and hang out at the world's fastest half miles so if you're looking for a christmas gift season tickets the way to go hundred and forty nine dollars for adult tickets for next year and a kid's season ticket just twenty dollars ten dollars in the spring race and ten dollars for the fall race and of course the xfinity series race uh, you get in free in the spring for that one also, the Camping World Truck Series race in the fall, get in free for that one if you're a kid. And so the only one you pay for is the Bass Pro Shop NRA Night Race. That's a payable ticket of 10 bucks for a kid. There was a lot of young people up here uh, this year, and so that's the whole goal is to get the young people in. We're going to talk about, I don't know if you saw the awards dinner. We're getting to the, got all the bowl games coming up here, but I don't know if you got into or got a chance to see the awards dinner Thursday night, some of the clips. Brian France, I mean, this guy, I don't know what his, what his deal was, but he handed the trophy to Martin Trex Jr. and nearly looked like to me. I went and watched the video about 30 times. I thought, it's like he was on fire. I mean, he almost ran off the stage. And then uh, when he presented Dell Jr. with the award there, the Brian France what, Humanitarian Award, uh, they I think that's what the award was. I've got it here in my stack of stuff. But, you know, he, again, kind of just shook his hand and ran off the stage. I mean, there wasn't. This is strange how that all came down. I don't know what it was all about. I don't know the man, but it just didn't look like it was a very smooth transition. He's the head of NASCAR. He should have been bear hugging these two guys, and and particularly Truex Jr. Well, both of them, and Jr. Dale Earnhardt Jr. But he didn't. So uh, if you get a chance, go back and check that on video. It's really interesting. How I mean, he, again, he handed them the trophies and just I think he shook Dale Jr.'s hand like and then ran off the stage didn't run off the stage, but uh, yeah, he was moving pretty quick. Anyway, I thought it was very interesting. All right, here we go. Let's run down the bowl games for you here for 2017 here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show as we're here broadcasting live again on this Monday. Coming up, we're going to hear from Betsy Holloman from Speedway and Lights. She's due to join us coming up here uh, any minute. Also, at the top of the hour, our buddy Mike Hedrick, the NASCAR fans reporter. The Gator Mans will check in with us by phone coming up here in a little while. i got the quiz show going today. And also coming up, Drew Bedard, the senior director of brand management at Bristol Motor Speedway. They're in meetings upstairs as we speak, getting ready for 2018. So you think they're up here just kind of resting on the laurels. It is a little bit slower paced, yes. But, no, they're gearing up for 2018 to make it bigger and better than 2017. So exciting time here at Bristol Motor Speedway. And we'll hear from Drew coming up here in a uh, in a little while. Also, William Yarber from Max Medicine Mart. Brand new month, and it's Nature's Way, the product line. We've got some great gift-giving ideas. We'll be there next Monday broadcasting live, so we'll hear from him a little bit later on the show as well. All right, here we go. December the 16th is when it all gets started, and that's coming up, uh, what, that's next weekend. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Yeah. December the 16th is double-check on the old calendar. December the 16th, I think, is next Saturday, and it is. So it's a week from Saturday. The bowl season begins with, what, one, two, three, four, five, six bowls right out of the chute on the first day of bowl 
possibilities and uh, let's do it chronologically 12 o'clock the celebration ball in Atlanta North Carolina A&T and Grambling will take on each other also on the 16th the New Orleans Bowl Troy against North Texas the Cure Bowl in Orlando Western Kentucky the Hilltoppers taking on Georgia State the Las Vegas Bowl on the 16th Boise State taking on the Ducks of Oregon the New Mexico Bowl, December the 16th, one that really matters on December the 16th. A 4.30 kickoff on ESPN. Colorado State taking on We Are Marshall. The Thundering Herd and Colorado State will battle each other. The Rams and the Thundering Herd, that's an animal pick. I go Buffalo all day long. The Herd, he'll run over a Ram. 4.30 kickoff on next Saturday, the 16th. The New Mexico Bowl in Albuquerque. And then the Camellia Bowl in Montgomery to wrap up the 16th. Arkansas State against the Blue Raiders of Middle Tennessee State. Then you jump to the 19th. One game there in the Boca Raton Bowl. Uh, Florida Atlantic University, that would be Mr. Kiffin and the boys, taking on Akron at 7 o'clock on the 19th. On the 20th, you've got the Frisco Bowl in Frisco, Texas, Louisiana Tech and SMU. Uh, you have December 21st, the Gasparilla Bowl. I'm not making this up. In St. Petersburg, Florida, Temple, the Owls taking on Florida International. The 22nd of December, the famous Idaho Potato Bowl in Boise, Idaho. Central Michigan taking on the Wyoming Cowboys. The December 22nd Bowl, the Bahamas Bowl in Nassau, Bahamas. University of Alabama, Birmingham against Frank Solich and his Ohio University Bobcats. On the 23rd, that's page one. On the 23rd, we have three games. The Dollar General Bowl game, Appalachian State, the Mountaineers taking on the Rockets of Toledo. That's from Mobile, Alabama on the 23rd. The Armed Forces Bowl, Fort Worth, Texas on the 23rd. Army taking on San Diego State. The 23rd, they have the Birmingham Bowl in Alabama. Texas Tech, the Red Raiders taking on the South Florida Bulls. Christmas Eve, the Hawaii Bowl. Houston, the Cougars taking on Fresno State from Honolulu. After Christmas, you have three on the 26th on the Cactus Bowl. And Phoenix, Kansas State taking on the Bruins of UCLA. On the 26th, the Duke Blue Devils take on Northern Illinois in the Quick Lane, Quick Lane Bowl from Detroit. Also on the 26th, the Heart of Dallas Bowl, the West Virginia Mountaineers taking on the Utah Utes. That's at 1.30 on the 26th of December, and that will be, of course, as we said, from Dallas, Texas. So the Mountaineers, we've got a lot of West Virginia fans watching the show. Thank you. And also, as we said, the Thundering Herds of both West Virginia teams are involved in postseason play. Marshall and the New Mexico Bowl on the 16th. West Virginia in the Heart of Dallas Bowl on the 26th in Dallas, Texas. On the 27th, one, two, three, four bowls. The Texas Bowl in Houston. The Texas Longhorns in Missouri out of the Southeastern Conference. On the 27th, the Foster Farms Bowl from Santa Clara, California. Purdue and Arizona. Also on the 27th, the Pinstripe Bowl in New York. Iowa taking on the Boston College Eagles. That's going to be from New York City. Also on December the 27th, the Independence Bowl. Florida State, the Seminoles. They're in. They got bowl eligible, even though they lost their coach over the weekend. Florida State, the Seminoles taking on Southern Miss on the 27th. That's coming up again from Shreveport, Louisiana. On December the 28th, one, two, three, four bowls. Military Bowl, Virginia Navy from Annapolis, Maryland. The Camping World. Camping World Bowl on the 28th from Orlando. The Hokies of Virginia Tech taking on the Oklahoma State Cowboys. That'll be coming up on the 28th. Also, the Alamo Bowl in San Antonio on the 28th. Stanford and TCU. Whoo, my jaws are sore. Also on the 28th, the Holiday Bowl. Michigan State takes on Washington State. That's all on the 28th. On the 29th, three more bowls. Say what you want. It's overkill for me. The 29th, the Belk Bowl in Charlotte, Wake Forest, and Texas A&M. December the 29th, the Hyundai Sun Bowl in El Paso, Texas. North Carolina State takes on Arizona State. The Music City Bowl in Nashville on December the 29th. The Kentucky Wildcats taking on Northwestern. Good to see the Wildcats in postseason play again. December the 30th, the Liberty Bowl. Liberty Bowl, baby, Memphis. Hello, baby, Elvis. Memphis and Iowa State on December the 30th. The Tax Slayer Bowl. Louisville, Mississippi State from Jacksonville, Florida on the 30th. Then you get into page number three, lousy mercy. Then you get into the Citrus Bowl on New Year's Day from Orlando. That'll be Notre Dame and LSU. The Outback Bowl in Tampa, Florida on New Year's Day. Michigan, the Wolverines taking on the South Carolina Gamecocks. Big good ball game there. Then you have the Selection Committee Bowl games, the Cotton Bowl on December the 29th. Ohio State takes on Southern Cal on December the 30th. The Orange Bowl, you have 
Wisconsin taking on Miami. That's going to be a good one, too. The Badgers against the Hurricanes. December the 30th, Penn State battles Washington in the Fiesta Bowl in Glendale, Arizona. The Peach Bowl. we got tickets to win to the Peach Bowl. New Year's Day in Atlanta, Auburn in Central Florida. And, of course, then the college football playoff on New Year's Day at 5 o'clock from Pasadena in the Rose Bowl, number two, Oklahoma, number three, Georgia. Also that night, 845 from New Orleans, number one, Clemson, number four, Alabama. And so those two winners will play for the national championship on January the 8th. And that is your bowl season. There's a bunch of them, obviously, ready to roll here again starting next Saturday. We kick off the bowl season in college football. Tom Taylor Sports Show, thanks for being with us. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back, and we'll come back, and we'll take a look at college basketball, the NBA, and the National Hockey League, all next here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show, live from Bristol Motor Speedway. At American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the eight areas of your vehicle that takes constant continuing education is the air conditioner on your vehicle. Well, you would think that AC would be a simple one, but it's getting to be... uh a lot bigger than just AC. It's it's the management of the system, not just AC, but heat and everything. It's a lot more computer controlled than it used to be. It used to be just a little button on the dash that you pushed. Now there's all kinds of electronics involved in that. Braking systems it used to be fairly simple. Now some of the newer vehicles, you have to have a computer to actually operate the braking system to make sure that it's okay after you've worked on it. Computer control in the, of the engine is becoming very important. There's a lot to that. Each one of these areas, are, the, the technology has just tripled and quadrupled in the last few years. It's hard to keep up. You really need to stay in the books and know what's going on with them. American Import Auto Repair, Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here are the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers, comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400, your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. The 2018 Cal Calendar in now for a limited time at Chick-fil-A, the crossings in North Johnson City. A 20th anniversary retrospective titled Steers of Yesteryear, including a card with a wide range of free food offerings across the Chick-fil-A menu. Only $8 plus tax, but hurry, supplies are limited. Each month gives you the chance to collect free Chick-fil-A menu items. The offers vary each month, but hurry, supplies are limited. The 2018 Chick-fil-A Steers of Yesteryear Calendar on sale now at Chick-fil-A at the Crossings in North Johnson City.
good stuff. You're right. It's so corny. Check this out. I love this. Way to go, Morlock. Good stuff. The Hooverville <laughs> The Hooverville State versus the Bug Tussle Tech playing the Jethro Soup Bowl. <laughs> I love it. Hooverville State versus Bug Tussle Tech in the Jethro Bodine Bowl. Jethro Bodine having a birthday today. He's 80 years old, so uh, again, that's good stuff. Top of the hour, we're going to hear from Mike Hedrick. NASCAR get the report. Again, my man Kyle Busch just keeps on winning. He got after the awards, went out and raced over the weekend and won, so we'll give the very latest on that. Uh, we've got a red-hot basketball program right now in Knoxville, both men and ladies. We'll tell you about that coming up in just a second. Let's break out the NBA from last night. Run those down for you in a busy night tonight in the National Basketball Association here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. We do local sports, regional sports, national sports, and so we're here live in the lobby at Bristol Motor Speedway, this beautiful tree in the backdrop. And so we love coming up here and talking BMS. And so here we go. Last night we had Orlando, a 5.1 over the New York Knickerbockers. It was Minnesota beating the Clippers. Golden State, the defending world champions, 123-95 to blowout win over Miami. They're now 18-6. and My boys, the San Antonio Spurs, losing to Oklahoma City. Again, uh, what, Russell, old boy, had a triple-double, and that went over the Spurs. Russell Westbrook beat them by three, 90-87. Spurs now 15-8. and eight. And then last night, also the Houston Rockets with a 23-point win over the Lakers. Again, 118-95. Tonight in the NBA, who plays where? Cavaliers will be in Chicago, Brooklyn and Atlanta. The Celtics hosting Milwaukee. Orlando will be in Charlotte to battle the Hornets. Indiana hosting the Knicks. Phoenix and Philadelphia. Golden State in New Orleans, it's Minnesota and Memphis, Dallas playing host to Denver, San Antonio home to the Detroit Pistons tonight, and Washington against Utah in the NBA for this Monday, December the 4th. On the ice last night in the National Hockey League, nothing to report to you, but today we've got four four matches on the ice, four games. One of those, the Predators in Nashville at 16-7-3, and three, have back-to-back games this week. Tonight, hosting Boston, the Bruins at 12-8, and eight, Nashville at 16-7. and seven. But again, oh, we got breaking news here. Let's see what that says. I uh, dropped out before I could pick it up. My bad, but we'll get to it in just a second. Got some breaking sports news. Let's see what it is. Mm-hmm. Somebody got fired. I saw that part. And let's see what we got here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nope, it popped up. double check that and see in just a second something just popped up and i apologize it went too fast and i was not paying total attention i was trying to do the show nashville against boston tonight again the bruins at 12 and 8 the predators at 16 and 7 and so that is coming up tonight on the ice also san jose skates in washington florida hosting the islanders and the philadelphia flyers skating in calgary tonight against the flames tomorrow night nashville jumps on a plane and they head out to uh, they head to Dallas to skate against the Stars there tomorrow night. So uh, back-to-back nights for the Predators here in early December. And so, uh, again, you have, as we said, Boston and Nashville tonight, and then the Predators skate in Dallas tomorrow night. So that's what's going on there. So trying to see. I popped up couldn't catch it. I apologize. So maybe it'll pop up in another source here coming up in just a few moments. That's the National Hockey League. Uh, let's see. Let's run down one more college basketball. Got that ready for you here on this. Got two good ball games tonight involving top 25 teams. You have uh, Sam Houston State and Baylor, 5-3. and three. Sam Houston and Baylor, 5-2 and two tonight. Florida State and Florida bragging rights in the state of Florida for college basketball supremacy. You've got the Seminoles at 6-0 and in Gainesville to battle the 6th ranked Gators at 5-1 and on this Monday. So a couple of good ball games. Again, Baylor, Sam Houston State, and then also Florida State at Florida in men's college basketball on this Monday. All right, let's go back and look what happened last night. How about the Tennessee Vols? They've been playing some solid, solid basketball. Lamonte Turner off the bench with, what, 24 big ones for Tennessee as he sparks his basketball team to run a 6-1 and one schedule uh, on the record so far this season. Turner off the bench again with 24 points, 9 for 9 for the free throw line. Again, uh, Tennessee wins it, three-point goals. Tennessee, 8 out of 20. Turner off the bench going 3 for 8 from downtown. 
Again, uh, Admiral Schofield with two for four from three-point range. Tennessee wins it again, 77 to 70 in Atlanta over a good Georgia Tech team. So the Volunteers now six and one of the season for Rick Barnes. Tech falls to four and three. Big win again for the men's team. They'll play Lipscomb later on this week in Knoxville. Mercedes, Mercedes Russell rather scored 18 and 13 minutes during Tennessee's 61-point first half, and the number 12 Lady Vols. Blew out Alabama State in Knoxville Sunday, 104 to 51, a 53-point win. The 104 points are the most this season for Tennessee in regular season games. They're now 8-0. and The Lady Vols are off to the best start since the 2013-2014 team began at 10-0. and So congratulations to Holly Warlick and the Lady Vols so far. Alabama State's not the Southeastern Conference, obviously, but A win is a win is a win on a program that's trying to get the ship turned around. Looks like it's headed that way for Holly Warlick and the Lady Vols. Lady Bucks win 74-63. They get an 11-point win over Winthrop College yesterday, so the Lady Bucks get a big W, 74-63. And the Lady Hokies win over Radford, 68-42 in women's college basketball. So congratulations to our ladies teams who did well yesterday on a Sunday afternoon for basketball again in uh, in college hoops so there we go now out of fairness we don't talk much about the nfl but here we go here's your winners from yesterday minnesota san francisco the patriots overtime win packers over tampa bay jacksonville baltimore the jets miami the titans the chargers the saints the raiders people say you're a big raiders fan i could care less hello becky i could care less about the raiders could care less about the nfl i refuse to support somebody who can't stand for my flag and for the national anthem. I don't care who you are. If every sport <laughs> if every sport decided to do that and everybody knelt during the national anthem, I guess I would be doing quilting and baking cookie show or something because I'm not going to support anybody, not just the NFL. Anyway, Raiders did win Rams and Seattle tonight. Steelers and Cincinnati battle the Bengals on Monday Night Football, and that's your NFL. And as Forrest Gump says, that's all I'm going to say about that. Jenny, I love you, Jenny. Tom Taylor Sports Show. We're live here again on the road, as we said. Let me show you what you can get at Phil's Dream Pit. Check this out. Mm-mm-mm. This is this rocks right here. This is the Phil's Dream Pit barbecue sauce. You got the uh, sweet fire, got a little kick to it, and also the sweet, the original sweet barbecue sauce packaged just like this. This is how you get it. Ten dollars plus tax. You can't beat it. Great stocking stuffer, or for a co-worker, or you got somebody that just gosh, I don't know what to get them. They got everything. But I know they like barbecue, they like Phil's Dream Pit, or they do a lot of grilling out at the homestead. Here it is, $10 plus tax. They've been selling the whiz out of these. And so 16-ounce bottles, the quest for perfect barbecue will be there. Broadcasting live next week. We'll be there next Tuesday, as a matter of fact, at Phil's Dream Pit. So here it is, and this is uh, they've been selling the selling the whiz out of this, as we said. So also meat for the pound. You've got a big event coming up that you don't want to do any cooking, and you want to go ahead and have the meat prepared. You just pick it up. Uh, you can call Phil's Dream Pit, and they can sell you meat by the pound, and they flat sell the meat this time of year. And also, don't forget their smoking turkeys and smoking hams. The deadline to call up and get those ordered will be December the 19th, I believe it is. Let me double check here. Uh, we'll make sure I don't tell you wrong. Mm-hmm. Yep, December the 19th, last day to order. Pickup is Friday the 22nd or Saturday the 23rd. If you like smoked turkey or smoked ham for your Christmas or New Year's dinner, enjoy a spiral-sliced smoked ham. I'm telling you, it's out of this world. Or smoked turkey breast. Had some smoked turkey out there on Saturday at Phil's Dream Pit. Smoked right there at Phil's Dream Pit, by the way, right off the Eastern Star exit of Interstate 26. Again, the smoked ham's 9 to 11 pounds, 8.50 a pound. The smoked turkey breast, three pounds at 11.49 per pound. Order by the 19th. Pick up Friday the 22nd or Saturday the 23rd. So let them take care of your Christmas and New Year's dinner with a smoked ham, a spiral slice smoked ham, or smoked turkey. Phone number to call to find out more is 349 6437. 349 6437. If you get a hankering, tell them old Tom told you to call. 349 6437 is the number to call. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to jump in there. We're going to greet him early. Nope. We're going to take a break and come back, and we're going to check him with the Gator Man. He's got the quiz show going on. Uh, he can't get here today, but he said, I'm going to do the quiz show over the phone. Last week, I went five for five. I'm all about it, so we'll see if we can duplicate that coming up here in just a second. We're live here again 
at Bristol Motor Speedway in the lobby of the Bruton Smith Building where season tickets are on sale. It's a great value for Christmas, I can tell you. That's a great stocking stuffer. Boy, what a surprise to have someone you love open up on Christmas morning, either in a stocking or in a big old box. Here's what I do. I get a big old box. I've done this before. And layer it. Start with a smaller box. And make them go through about six or seven boxes. By the time they get to what they want, they're mad in a wet hen on Christmas morning. I love it. <laughs> but that would be cool to make it all the way down. Boom. Open up. And there are tickets to Bristol Motor Speedway season tickets. $149 for a season ticket. That's a great value. That's for five great days of short track racing. That's everything going on. The Fitzgerald Glider Kits 300, the Xfinity Series race in the spring. Of course, the Food City 500, Jimmy Johnson back to defend his crown in April. Then in August, the, of course, Camping World Truck Series, the UNOH 200. Then on Friday night, the Food City 300. Then on Saturday, the Bass Pro Shop NRA Night Race, the biggest race this year on the circuit in NASCAR was right here at Bristol Motor Speedway. And so, of course, my man, Kyle Busch, back to defend his crown when he went, yeah, he swept him, swept him, yeah. Boy can drive a race car, man, I'm telling you. If he'd had about four more laps down there in Homestead, he'd have caught Martin Drex Jr. If his brother hadn't spun out and stacked him all up in the caution, Kurt Busch, a late flag, late caution of the race, I'm thinking the old boy could have caught him. But he didn't. And credit and congratulations to Martin Drex Jr., great champion. Uh, loved his speech last Thursday. He spoke like a champion. But my boy can drive a car. Whether you like the guy or not, the man can flat drive a machine and he won over the weekend in the race we'll tell you about that coming up in a few minutes but again he is back to defend his crown with the bash pro shop nra night race in the fall again five great days of short track racing uh 149 dollars season ticket for adults check this out kids season ticket for five days of racing at bristol twenty dollars how could you not i mean that is that's not even enough for debate. That's not even enough for twenty dollars to bring your kids up here and see two races in the spring on Saturday and Sunday. Three races up here in the fall: the Wednesday night truck race, the Friday night Food City 300, and of course the big one, the Bass Pro Shop NRA night race. Those first two races are free in the fall. The truck race and the Xfinity race. The Xfinity race is free in the spring. So your kids are paying ten bucks to go to the Food City 500. You're paying ten bucks to go to the Bass Pro Shop NRA night race. It is a no-brainer. How do you call? 423-BRISTOL on your phone pad or 1-866-415-4158 or go to the website at bristolmotorspeedway.com. Quick break. We'll be right back. We'll go to Northern Virginia. We'll get him on. He's coming up next. We're going to get him in here. We'll let him take off. We'll talk to Gator coming up in the next hour. But we're going to talk to my man, Mike Hedrick, the NASCAR fans reporter. We've got him coming up next here as we're live on the road. As we said, we are here again in there you see we have him coming up here in just a second. We're going to take a break and be right back. We're on the road at Bristol Motor Speedway, the Bruton Smith Building, on this Monday, December the 4th on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at FCA.org. It's model your clothes out with Jim Employee pricing and 20% off on 17 models of Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City. It's a great time to take advantage of closeout savings on our selection of over 300 Chevys to choose from. 17 1500 work truck 23995, 17 track 17548, 17 cruise 16488, 17 spark 10950, 17 Malibu 18985. Closeout savings, Saturday parts and service hours, and shopping online 24 7 will leave you asking, how do they do that? At American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the eight areas of your vehicle that takes constant continuing education is the air conditioner on your vehicle. Well, you would think that AC would be a simple one, but it's getting to be uh, a lot bigger than just AC. It's, it's the management of the system, not just AC, but heat and everything. It's a lot more computer controlled than it used to be. It used to be just a little button on the dash that you pushed. Now there's all kinds of electronics involved in that. Braking systems it used to be fairly simple. Now some of the newer vehicles you have to have a computer to actually operate the braking system to make sure that it's okay after you've worked on it. Computer control in, of the engine is becoming very important. There's a lot to that. Each one of these areas, are, the technology has just tripled and quadrupled in the last few years. 
it's hard to keep up. You really need to stay in the books and know what's going on with them. American Import Auto Repair, Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at BrackenPaving.com. Your life is always changing. You never know what shape it will take or how your financial needs might change. But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today. Back with the Tom Taylor Sports Show. We're live again at Bristol Motor Speedway on this Monday, December the 4th. The backdrop, the beautiful Christmas tree here in the lobby of the Bruton Smith Building where tickets are on sale. Season tickets for $149 for adults for five great days of racing. Mike Hedrick, you're down here every spring and fall. That is a value, my friend. $149 for a season ticket for an adult for five great days of racing, two in the spring and three great days in the fall. And then, of course, the kids ticket is only 20 bucks, And so uh, you can't go wrong. It's a great stocking stuffer. Wouldn't it be neat for someone to wake up Christmas morning and have tickets to Bristol Motor Speedway season tickets for 2018? I think it would be really cool. And especially for the young guys being able to come there for just, you know, just a small $20 for the whole season and get to get you all the truck races and everything. I just love everything that Bristol does in there. Hey, and uh, the fact that you're there in the Bruton Smith building, uh, I'm a little bit like, I'm, I'm a little closer to you because if you look over on the big screen that they have over there that they show all the yearly events and the battle at Bristol and the Colossus, my face pops up about every seven minutes over there, Tom. So, if you go to a work there in an average day, you're going to get to see my face like 68 <laughs> times. So you got to ask Drew. What, you got to ask Drew when he comes up in a little bit. Drew, what in the world are you thinking when you walk in the door and you see Mike's face right up there on the thing? Every six minutes. So there you go. There's a lot of Mike Hedrick here at Bristol Motor Speedway. So hey, let's jump in and go. The silly season, uh, uh, silly season list. What's going on in the silly season? And and you know some. Folks have retired. There's some changing teams. Kind of give me an overview, would you, my friend? Would you please? Yeah, a quick overview of, of you know what we've got here as 2018 gets going. We know that we have recently retired Dale Earnhardt Jr. We know that Matt Kenseth is not coming back, and we know that Danica Patrick is not coming back next year. That adds to our, our list of veterans in the last couple of years of Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart and Carl Edwards and Greg Biffle that are no longer in the sport now. Some of the people have uh, just kind of moved over, and so they're going to be in a different car number next year than some of our fans may be used to. Eric Almarola won't be in the 43. He'll be in the Stuart Haas Racing number 10. Ryan Blaney won't be in the Wood Brothers 21. He's going to be in the new Penske 12. Eric Jones is not going to be uh, in the 77. He's going to be in the Joe Gibbs Racing number 20. Casey Kane uh, is not going to be at Hendricks in the number five. He's going to be over at front row, or he's going to be over in no, the number 95, the Divine family. Paul Menard is not going to be in the 27. He's going to be in the Wood Brothers 21. And Chase Elliott is not changing teams, but his number's changing from the 24 to the 9. Now, that leaves a couple of drivers that don't have a ride for the season. And as I count them right now, uh, Landon Castle, Michael McDowell, David Reagan, uh, Reed Sorensen, and really you got to add, you have to keep Kurt Busch on that list right now. Now there's about four or five cars that are available, so those guys may just have to play musical cars there. The Double Zero is a new car, TriStar. Uh, they've actually got good money, so I think that they may be able to attract somebody. The number 27 that uh, 
Paul Menard is coming out of, or Richard Childress. Uh, we're hearing that uh, Xfinity driver Brennan Poole may be taking that seat. There are the two car numbers of the front row, the number 34 and the number 38. Those are available. And then we always have that number 41 of Kurt Busch's until something comes of that. Uh, that may be available. So we don't know whether it'll be Kurt Busch in there. We've heard rumors of Matt Kenseth, or they may bring up young Cole Custer, whatever. So that's who's wiggling around. That's the cars that are available. And I think we're getting down to it. I think if there's some news, it's going to come pretty soon, else maybe there's not news coming. We're talking to our buddy again, Mike Hedrick, the NASCAR fans reported the breaking sports story I told you a few minutes ago. It is broke that the Giants have fired their football coach, Ben McAdoo, after a 2-10 and ten start. So he's out as the head coach for the New York Giants as they move forward. They got to be with the Raiders yesterday, and that's all we're going to talk about the NFL. So McAdoo fired as the head coach of the New York Giants with a 2 and Giants with a dismal 2-10 and ten record right now. And they've benched Eli Manning, so they've uh, they've – They've kicked him to the curb and looking for a new coach, and I'll bet you Eli Manning will be back starting this week because that really got people rubbed the wrong way, benching Eli Manning, and, and the way they did it was, was kind of bush league. And so they've uh, they fired the coach today. Ben McAdoo gone as the head coach of the New York Giants. So Landon Castle, Michael McDowell, David Reagan, Kurt Busch, I guess Kenseth, you throw him in there, and even Danica. So you got five or six folks that are looking for a ride for 2018, and, and there's a couple of seats, as you said, are open. But uh, some of these guys, quite frankly, as far as performance, have underperformed in their careers. So I don't know whether a team would jump out. Would you take a chance on a McDowell or a Reagan or a Landon Castle if you were a car owner right now? You know what? You might have before, but but with the great talent that's coming up through the Xfinity series and those drivers that are right there uh, in the trucks, you know, there's the opportunity to put a young guy in there that really could get your franchise going that might be hot right off the bat. Like you said, some of those guys in there haven't been real big performers. Your Reed Sorensen, your David Reagan, your Michael McDowell, solid drivers. Uh, but just haven't really been, you know, at, at, at the top of what those cars can do. Even though they're not A cars, you still should be able to, to drive a B car to a B plus, I always thought. Absolutely. We're talking to Mike Hedrick. on the uh, screen on the phone. He's live with us from Northern Virginia. He joins us every Monday and Friday. This Friday we'll be live at Food City on Eastern Road in Kingsport on a Food City Friday. Uh, Brad Kozlowski says he'd like to own a cup team someday. Tell me about that. Yeah, it all starts that we know that Brad Keselowski Racing uh, is shutting down their truck operation at the end of this year here, or they actually just did. Uh, and he actually said that he's in doing that in hopes of, of having a cup team one day, or actually, you know, because it's just kind of tough. He's actually had a, a team much like your Kyle Busch. Uh, motorsports where a lot of young drivers have come up through uh, BK Racing. Parker Kligerman is one, Chase Briscoe, Austin Sendrick, who actually got their very first wins uh, this year in the Truck Series driving for Brad Kozlowski. Uh, and then Ryan Blaney and Daniel Hemrick and, and even Tyler Reddick. Those guys have, have uh, come up through there. Brad Kozlowski said to, or the other day that it is 100% his dream to one day own a cup team. And he, he actually mentioned that, you know, as drivers uh, and all have been evolving and aging through the sport, so that our, our owner base is doing the same thing. So I did a little bit of homework, and here's the, some of the ones that, that I know of. Uh, Barney Visser uh, from Furniture Row, he's in his mid-60s. Gene Haas from Stuart Haas is 65. Rick Hendricks is 68. Richard Childress is 72. Jack Roush is 75. Joe Gibbs is 77, and Roger Penske is 80. So, uh, not, and, and we hope they live, you know, to a million years old. Uh, but even, you know, the, the average retirement age in America is 66. So, uh, these guys have been in the sport a really long time. Some of them are going to hand down their dynasty and family. Uh, but yeah, there's, you know, somebody's going to need to be getting in there. There's new teams coming along. I think Brad would be uh, a good choice as, as a cup owner. Uh, and I think he'd be pretty competitive at it if he gets the you know the right kind of backing. That's, and you know what? You always dream big. Always dream big. I like that in him. We're talking to our buddy. Of course, Barney Viss, you mentioned him, one of the car owners. Of course, he owns the Trix machine that won the championship. Was not at the dinner. He suffered a heart attack. His wife was there on his behalf. So he's kind of in the uh, mash unit getting healed up. We hope he does quickly. But Barney uh, suffering some medical situations. So, yeah, as you see some young drivers, obviously, you're going to see some younger owners over the next five or six, seven years. And obviously, Brad Kozlowski wants to be one of those. And, and I'm sure he'll have the funding behind Penske or whomever to, to make that happen. We're talking to Mike Hedrick. And so uh, racing is over, but it's not over. 
My man Kyle Bush over the weekend wins the 2017 Snowball Derby, the 50th anniversary of the event. Happened yesterday in Pensacola, Florida, at Five, Fle- Five Flags Speedway. Say so that fast, real time, real fast. Let's try that again. Five Flags Speedway in Pensacola, Florida. The only Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series driver entered in the Golden Anniversary race. But he had a couple of NASCAR Next drivers in there with him, Mike. That would include Harrison Burton, one of his guys driving, Noah Gragson, Corey LaJoy, Brandon McReynolds, Ty Majeski, and, and Mason Mingus, some of the guys in the field. But Bush wins it. And, and again, he wins the Snowball Derby back in 2009 as well. So congratulations to Kyle Bush getting a little bit of racing in before Christmas. And you know what? The, the guy just loves to compete. He loves to be competitive. And that's a great race. There's, this, that's a super late models race. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's, a, there's so much going on on the local tracks that, that even those races are still going on. There was a lot of Thanksgiving races here uh, at, uh, down here at Dominion Raceway here close to us. And so a lot's still going on in that. And he's just so competitive that, that if, you know, as we get to Christmas, if they have like a pumpkin pie race or something, <laughs> he's going to be in it, Tom. The Eggnog 200, he's going to be there, exactly, just because he is Kyle Busch. And so, and I guess it's, I mean, you know, it's kind of hard to turn off, really, Mike, if you think about it. They go all these weeks of racing, and all of a sudden i got to turn the thing off like a switch and, and kind of sit down. So I'm sure the juices are still flowing, and you know, it's a chance for him to race a little bit there yesterday in Florida and, and won the thing. But I guess they turn it off for a little while, but it's still pretty, uh, these guys are competitive. They like to race cars, don't they? And they do, and 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 I don't think that there is a switch. I think you know, I think the the wives the wives probably wish that there was a switch, but I don't really think there is. I just know in myself, I'm just very competitive when it comes to cooking or just real. I mean, I don't care what we are. We could be playing, you know, tiddlywinks or or you know, or doing anything, and 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 I'm just going to have to beat you. I'm just not going to be able to play. In fact, it, I guess it comes from my dad because my dad, my mom told me he wouldn't play card games at the beach when the family would go together he said because you know y'all are just playing and just having a good time and, and i have to get in there and just beat you all you know so <laughs> this would be fun so i so i get that i get that last thing before i let you go i was looking at some video again you can check it out by the way uh, by going to sportingnews.com or foxsports.com click on nascar and see brian france's rather awkward presentation of the championship trophy uh, I'm not even really sure. You just have to see it. France abruptly handed Martin Trix Jr. his NASCAR championship ring before walking off without even a handshake. Just handed it to him and walked off the stage. And I, I don't get that, but that's what he did. He also drew criticism for his extremely, that's the key word, brief introduction of Dale Jr. for receiving the Bill France Award of Excellence, an award named in honor of his father, the longtime chairman and CEO of NASCAR. And that was kind of abrupt, too, and I don't know what that was all about, but you can go back and look at it for yourself. But he was... You know, shook his hand, or no, he just handed it to Junior. No, did he, yeah, he shook Junior's hand and just went off the stage. I mean, there wasn't, usually he stopped with a photo op, put your arm around the guy and shake his hand and, you know, do whatever to say thank you. But no, 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 nothing there. He handed it left, so you have to see it for yourself. And I don't know what to make of it, if anything. Maybe I'm making something out of nothing. But from a PR standpoint, just didn't think that was too smooth what the, what the big guy did. But hey. He may have had a reason. He may have had a phone call. He, it could have been any number of things that had his attention. He got off the stage pretty quick. So do you watch it? Did you think it was a pretty good award show, all things considered? It, it was a great award show. And, and, you know, watching him, and, you know, may, maybe, I, I should, maybe I should have looked up his age because maybe he was having potty issues or something like that. We, we, don't, that's, we don't talk have potty talk on, on no, the show. I know that. No. But he might have had tummy he might have had tummy issues and uh, just needed to excuse himself there real quick. We're going to give the man the benefit of the doubt. I mean, you know, we don't want to think that he was, you know, I, you know, I don't know. We'll give him a pass. There you go. What do you want to leave us with? You'll be back Friday with more. What do you want to leave us with today, my friend? Hey, we just want to just remind everybody, tune in on Friday. One of the things we're going to talk about, I'm going to do my homework for Friday, and we're going to talk about uh, just the changes to the car. There's only a few changes to the car, but we want to talk about those so the fans get to understand that. Another thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to talk about some of the uh, Bristol Motor Spe- Speedway VIP options because I'm one of the rare fans uh, that's that's actually got to experience uh, watching the race from a seat. I was a fan. I've watched the race from uh, the luxury suites. As a fan, I've watched it from pit road. I've watched it from the pit road party zone, from the brand new apex, and from the uh, old smoky uh, moonshine roof up there. So I want to give you my perspective on all those and just tell you what is so great about all of those different packages and, and why it may be worth it to you 
to, to do an upgrade. There you go. Well put, my friend. Mike Hedrick, thank you. Great job. We'll talk to you Friday. And uh, screen taters, my friend, screen taters. Screen taters. And, hey, what, make sure to look for me every seven minutes up there on the screen. <laughs> okay. We'll talk to you Friday. Great job again. My man Mike Hedrick again with us live from Northern Virginia here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Here it is. Here is the $8 ticket to a lot of great food this year. Here it is, the Chick-fil-A calendar, the steers of yesteryear, the 2018 cow calendar from Chick-fil-A going very, very fast. And I don't know if you can see this on the back of the uh, – there's, there's each month. And there is the card, by the way. This is my calendar. There's the card that you get. You can see right here Then you can uh, – where is it? Well, there's just leave the card, Tom. Don't embarrass yourself. There's the card. And so that particular card gets you free food every month at Chick-fil-A. These tickets are on sale, or these calendars on sale, I should say, for $8 called the Steer of Yesteryear. They're available at Chick-fil-A, the crossings in North Johnson City. Uh, this is not hype. When I say they're going fast, that is an understatement. They're going very fast right now. And so once they're gone, they're gone. They have limited supply. They, or, they always order a bunch because they're one of the top-selling stores in the chain and the entire country of selling Chick-fil-A calendars. But even, you know, there is a limit. So if you want them, I know I was in there last Wednesday. We'll be there this Wednesday. Last Wednesday, a guy walked in about 25 for somebody, for a group or employees. Or I'm not sure who it was, but I know he bought 25 at a clip at $8 a pop. And so everybody likes to get a Chick-fil-A calendar, and they've got them right now at the crossings in North Johnson City. We are live here again at Bristol Motor Speedway. Coming up, we'll take a break. We'll check in with the Gator Man, see what he's got going on. We'll talk to him next year on show number 646 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air-conditioned, cushioned seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City opens six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. This holiday season, those of us at Phil's Dream Pit here would like to make it easy for you to entertain your guests and visitors with our Dream Packs to go. We have pork, chicken, or brisket, and the sides. All Dream Packs come with three sides, the buns or toast, and the sauce. We can do these value packs from anywhere from four up to 50 to 100 people, just depending on how many you have to feed. Call about the Dream Packs to go at Phil's Dream Pit, 349-6437. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30 plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard. We've got you covered. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles, to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com.
And we're back live with the Tom Douglas Sports Show. We're live again at Bristol Motor Speedway in the lobby again where season tickets are $149. Don't forget it's the Pinnacle Speedway and Lights Power by TVA coming up tonight again through January the what, January the 6th. And so a great time to come up here and enjoy Speedway and Lights. We'll let Drew talk about that coming up here in just a few minutes. But it's open every night uh, from 6 until 10 o'clock. And it's all about the kids raising money for Speedway Children's Charities. And we'll let Drew do those honors coming up here in a few minutes. We got him on the phone. The Gator Man's in the house. Good afternoon, my friend. How are you? I'm just happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. Now, you were part of the state championship last week. All six teams, all six classes played in Tennessee State Championship football. You were part of one of the state championship refereeing crews. Tell me about it. Yeah, I was able to run the play clock for the uh, the 3A championship, Al Cole and Covington. And uh, I tell you, that the TSSAA, they, they put on a good weekend. Um, it was top notch. I had it at Cookville, Tennessee. Uh, facilities were fantastic. Uh, they treated everyone just, it was fantastic. Excitement. Um, I know I can only say fantastic so many times, but that, that doesn't do justice for it. It was just, it was an awesome experience. There you go. And so part of it, and you earned that. I mean, you have to be asked by someone to, do you bid on that? Or how, how do you end up being one of the uh, officials on a, on a crew for a state championship game? Well, Jim Craddock, our um, illustrious leader, he'll he'll put you in for it, and then the TWSWA goes signs off on it. Um, so it, it it's an accomplishment that it, you you have to pay your dues to get it. There you go, and you've paid him. We're talking to my man Gator, who also officiates, but then his day job he's a great barber, at Cherokee Barbershop. How many first timers you got so far this year, my friend? One hundred and ninety. 190 first timers. That's so, awesome. So, what's your what was the last year? I get 23 year? between the house. Uh, 213. I'm 23 shy of last year. There you go. That's awesome. Uh, I'm I'm just thankful. God's blessed me. You got it. All right. Let's talk about Final Four. You have got Oklahoma. You've got Georgia. You've got Alabama, and you've got Clemson. Did they get it right or not? In my opinion, they did not. Okay, good. I think, tell, you, tell, tell I think if you're not a conference champion, well, I think if you're not a conference champion, you shouldn't be in there. Um, if Alabama was to somehow to win another one, they would be the third best team in the SEC being the best team in the nation. Mm-hmm. What about the other two SEC teams? That would be Auburn and Georgia. Georgia's mm-hmm. in. Auburn's not. Okay. but Yes, yeah, Georgia's number one. Auburn's number two because they came in one two in the championship, and then Alabama would be three. So you don't think Ohio State should be there either? Who do you think that fourth team should be? I think I think Ohio State should be in there. Okay. Instead of Alabama. Okay. Why? Well, they won their conference. Okay. Well, I talked about this you Friday. Know, if, the, if the number one criteria was to win your conference championship, and they did so. The argument is there, but then the argument also was Penn State won it last year, and they got bumped for Ohio State. So uh, there's all kinds of yeah, point and counterpoints. I, I didn't agree with that last year either. No point counterpoints. So anyway, that's what we got. We got Alabama. We've got Clemson in New Orleans. We've got and passing into the Rose Bowl. We got Georgia and Oklahoma. And those two winners will play January 8th for the national championship. Uh, are you have you fluffed and folded today? Tell me what your days so far. I have. I got up and I fluffed and folded. I've been to Walmart, uh, went and paid some bills, paid my insurance, and uh, life has been good today. Life's been good. That's awesome. We're talking to our buddy, the Gator Man from Cherokee Barbershop. Life's been good. He's fluffed and folded. Got all his clothes ready to go. He's off today. His towels and everything ready to roll. Trimmed my beard down there Friday or Saturday, whenever I was down there. I guess it was Saturday morning. Or was it Friday afternoon? It was Friday afternoon. I was there and got my beard trimmed. And Friday afternoon. Made me look good. Folks are complimenting complimenting me on my beard. Thank you, my friend. So when he gets, when he gets long enough, he's going to whack the hair off. It's getting really close. And so we'll do that at the appropriate time when he reaches the appointed length. You told me the other day it's very, very close, isn't it? It's long enough now if you want a real short haircut after. <laughs> yeah. And I don't. So that's the key. <laughs> it's got to grow a little bit longer so I can have something left over to start over with. So... 
anyway that's pantenebeautifulinks.com is the website we're talking about we're growing our hair long to have it cut off eventually to make a real hair wig for cancer patients going through chemo radiation for ladies is my way of giving back having lost a mama and a stepmama to cancer and my father so it's my way to give back in a roundabout way to uh to the cause of cancer so here we go, quiz show time. Last week I went five for five, big dog. So let's roll and see what I can do this time around. A blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You're right. All right. <laughs> Take it away, big dog. I'm ready for number one. Okay, Rutgers is uh-huh. the oldest college football team, true or false? Rutgers is the oldest college football team. Now that By that you're saying that they've played – more longer than any other college football team. Is that correct? That's what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Rutgers is the oldest college football team, which means they played the, to, to be that way. They had to play the first ever college football game. Am I right? That's what you're you're asking, Rutgers. So no, they don't. They didn't have to play the first one. Aha! Uh-huh. There's the case. Maybe the first. Maybe the people. Maybe the people played the first game aren't still in. All know? right. I'm going to say... They might not be at college anymore. Okay. You're right. So, I'm going to say Rutgers. Repeat the question one more time, please. Rutgers is the oldest college football team. Uh, some I've read this somewhere, and I don't think that's right. I'm going to go with my gut, and I'm going to say that is true. It is true. <laughs> You got uh, that correct. All right, that's <laughs> there's that squirrel. Find out that nut. You got one. You got one right. Got one right. Okay, number two. <laughs> go ahead. Okay, Princeton is the oldest college basketball team. True or false? True. That is false. Ah. Didn't think Vanderbilt. That... Oh, really? Vanderbilt. February seventh, eighteen ninety three. Really, I'd have never guessed that. Vanderbilt is the oldest yep. college basketball team. That's interesting. All right. Well, yeah, I thought that was very nice. Yeah, yeah it's, it's gotten stupid all of a sudden. That was a stupid question. Okay, good. Number three. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. Take it away. Okay, Am Amherst College defeated William College seventy three to thirty two in the first college baseball game true that is true there you go two for three all right no 73 to 32 that's some but that was they call it the massachusetts rules which i've I've never been able to figure out what that is that's a lot of offense 73 to 32 that'd be what 105 runs that's that's a lot of offense so that's uh 1859 july 1st okay all right, number four. Okay, so you're two and one. Major League Baseball played two All-Star games a year from 1959 to 1962. True or false? True. That is true. There you go. All right, I'm three for four. Do you know why they did it? Uh, they played one in, they the Mar- did it. one in the American League Ballpark, one in the National League Ballpark. They did it to raise money for the players' pension. No, oh, had nothing to do with it. Home and away, okay. All right, that's number four. All right, number five. Bill Butner. Everybody knows Bill Butner. Uh huh. He has more. Bill, he's the guy that let the ball go through his legs. Uh huh. The Red Sox first baseman. For the right? Red Sox. Mm hmm. Yeah. He, he had more career hits than Ted Williams. True or false? True. That is true. Mm hmm. There you go. So I go four for five, and I missed the stupid Vanderbilt basketball question. I could have went five for five two weeks in a row. So there you go. So uh, close, but no cigar, right? Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. <laughs> there you go. All right, before I let you go, tell me about I got my man waiting here. Tell me about in the wings. We've got my man Drew Bedard ready to talk to us. We're talking to the Gator Man on the phone from Cherokee Barbershop. Tell me about Cherokee Barbershop, my friend, one of our great sponsors from the, from the beginning. He's been with me, and I appreciate that. Very much. So tell me about Cherokee Barbershop, big dog. You know, it's a great place to come in and get a haircut and get ready for uh, the Christmas holidays when you got to go see Mama. Uh, we're open Tuesday through Friday, 830 to 5, and Saturday, 830 to 12. 
uh, haircuts are free. If you buy an eleven dollar cup of coffee and you get a pizza cup. There you go. Haircuts. Come are- on down. Come on down, he says, and I'm right there. I totally get that. It's good stuff, and we appreciate him very much, the Gator Man. So uh, what's your phone number, by the way? 928-6201. 928-6201. Don't call. Just come on in. Just come on in. Yep. <laughs> it's good stuff. It's always a lot of fun and, and uh, has a good time. All kinds of memorabilia on the wall with East Tennessee State of Milligan. So uh, we appreciate him very much, our buddy, the Gator Man. Hey, great job, man. I'll talk to you next week, all right? Uh, have a good one. Yes, sir. Good man, our buddy, the Gator. Appreciate him, the Gator man, again, from Cherokee Barbershop. Again, as we said, in Executive Park South in South Johnson City, right down from Tipton Haynes Working Farm. When the barber pulls out, the Gator man's in. He's off today's off on Mondays, open Tuesday through Saturday, and he's a fine, fine feller. Quick break. We'll be right back. we got Drew Bedard going to join us from Bristol Motor Speedway. Talk about... I don't know what everyone's talking about. Baseball, of course, obviously some NASCAR, and just get us ready for the 2018 season, which is not that far away. Quick break. We'll be right back. We're live at Bristol Motor Speedway. Again, here in the lobby of the Bruton Smith Building where they're selling tickets again. Season tickets are on sale for $149 for adults for five great days of racing. Kids season, 20 bucks, and he's coming. He joins us right after the break here. We're live at Bristol Motor Speedway on show number 646 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. This is Phil Pipkin, owner of Phil's Dream Pit. Do you like smoked turkey? Do you like smoked ham? For your Christmas or New Year's dinner, enjoy a spiral sliced smoked ham or smoked turkey breast smoked right here at Phil's Dream Pit. Smoked ham's 9 to 11 pounds at 8.50 a pound. The smoked turkey breast goes from 2 to 4 pounds at 11.49 per pound. Order by Tuesday, December the 19th. Pick up Friday, December the 22nd or Saturday, December 23rd. Let us take care of your Christmas or New Year's dinner with a smoked turkey breast or spiral smoked ham. Call 349-6437. Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air-conditioned cushion seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City opens six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here are the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers' comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400. Your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. The 2018 Cal Calendar in now for a limited time at Chick-fil-A, The Crossings, in North Johnson City. A 20th anniversary retrospective titled Steers of Yesteryear, including a card with a wide range of free food offerings across the Chick-fil-A menu. Only $8 plus tax, but hurry, supplies are limited. Each month gives you the chance to collect free Chick-fil-A menu items. The offers vary each month. But hurry, supplies are limited. The 2018 Chick-fil-A Steers of Yesteryear Calendar on sale now at Chick-fil-A at the Crossings in North Johnson City.
We're back with the Tom Douglas Sports Show. No, I'm not Drew Bedard, but he's right over here. Let's get him on. <laughs> uh, let's get him right there. There's Drew Bedard, Vice President of Consumer Marketing at Bristol Motor Speedway. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm doing great. Yes, How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Happy holidays. Thank you. Love coming up here. I want to come up one more day before we shut this thing down for Christmas. I want to come up like the week before and, mm-hmm. and do it again. I want to get Greg on, talk about, tell you. One of the best kept secrets in the Tri Cities. If you have a NASCAR fan that you're looking for for Christmas or a Bristol Motor Speedway fan, there it is, the Speed World Gift Shop. I mean, they got driver's jackets, they got shot glasses. I mean, I think it's the best kept secret in the Tri Cities. There's a good kids section back oh, there, too. Absolutely. We've got stuffed animals and a lot of different things. Die cast cars. We've got uh, panoramic shots of all the different racetracks. We've got tons of stuff. Maybe that next show, can, the last show I do, I can do it from in there like I did. Sure. Before and just sit up in there in that corner and do the show. They'd love, love it. Oh, I would love it because I'm getting ready to do some Christmas shopping in here in a little while. I, get off I know the folks from Durango Boots. They loved our they promotion love from August. Me. Talking to them today. Oh, They're yeah. great people. Yes. They loved it. Uh, yes. Yeah. I loved them Durango Boots. Mm-hmm. And uh, they fit real nice, as a matter of fact, in big old 14 to the, with the American flag on it. All right, college football. We want to get to Drew. I know he's busy. He's got several meetings. <laughs> Folks think that in the offseason, guys are up here playing Uno and all that. It's not quite the way it is. No, we're getting ready for 18, right? Absolutely. Yeah. All times. Yeah. I mean, it's – Pedal to the metal all the time. It's kind of two parts. It's um, trying to get, you know, what are we going to do for the experiences for the fan next year? And then – it's a lot at the same time of planning, making sure that our year is laid out correctly, making sure that all the information is laid out correctly. Um, right now is a lot of renewal time period for our customers, so it's communicating back and forth what they get with that renewal, mm-hmm. then fulfilling those renewals with you know ticket shipments early in the new year, and, and we'll roll right into NASCAR season. It'll get hot and heavy leading up to the uh, April Food City 500 weekend. So, Your take of the awards dinner last week when we crowned Martin Trex Jr. and William Byron and... Uh Christopher Bell is the, is, the, right. is the folks. I like the uh, tighter format. Um, I don't know if everybody was tuned in to our social media. If you're not, please go to Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. Where, uh, you could just search for us, Bristol, of course, but at BMS Updates on most of, on most of those platforms. Um, we had Heather Dubow, who is our Colossus TV correspondent mm-hmm. during the uh, April and August race weekends. She was out there, and she was our correspondent in Vegas, and they had a blast. But the overall week seemed great, and I thought the award show, a little bit of a Titan format, was better. Some awkward moments in there, but there always are. These guys are not... <laughs> They're not, you know, actors or actresses. I mean, they're, yeah, they're drivers. Sure. So it's always those are always fun. Um, I liked uh, Kyle Bush's appeal to Junior Nation for them to for everybody from the Dale Junior camp to move <laughs> over to be a Kyle <laughs> Bush fan. So that was a funny part of the evening. But um, yeah, I thought it was enjoyable. Mm-hmm. So now, were you there? No, no. I was right here, here taking it. care of my family. Because sometimes you do go. So this year, you I went last year, yeah. and because we also do, and we did this this last week, but we brought somebody in from out in Nevada, um, one of our fans who's a huge diehard NASCAR fan who's been with us for a long time. We sent him to the banquet, him and his wife, and they had a great time. So that was yeah. We usually kind of surprise gift that to one of our customers. On the screen, you see we're talking to Drew Bedard, the vice president of consumer marketing. This guy, and I'm. He's not going to like this, and I don't care because I'm bigger than he is. But this show success right there. This guy is always giving me suggestions, and he always helps me out, and he's a a great guy, good Christian man, obviously, great daddy, great husband. So Try to be. Yeah, no, you do. Try to be. Appreciate that, man. You get her done. So uh, every time, I mean, he's always giving me a little tip. Here's what I would do. And so I'm telling you. Uh, 646 shows in large part because this man right here, and I can't thank Proud him of you, man. It's great. Yeah, this it thing's is. just on the way up, man. It's well, like a, it's like the stock market right now. It's just I'm on the way so. up. Of course, I'm leaning on the Lord. It's his show, but yeah. That's uh, right. We're doing what we think is our due diligence to get the word out for sports. We told you a few minutes ago, you surprised the Giants. Big news this morning. They fired McAdoo. He's gone. Not surprised at no. all. Knew that one was coming no. down the pike. Him think- and the general manager. I mean, I feel bad for anybody who gets let go you know obviously it was a situation that didn't work out but probably the best thing for the Giants obviously this Eli benching was a big story this past week and not sure that that made sense in the long-term future of the program but of course you know when Peyton was retiring there was those things with the Colts as well I think Eli's still got a couple good years left in him it's just obviously a system that just wasn't working sometimes the internal components of a team 
of, and you look at it with business as well, you know, sometimes they're not functioning on all cylinders, mm-hmm. and sometimes they are, and you can really see that. Look mm-hmm. at the Patriots and look at how, you know, their their purpose, they know what they're there for, you know, sort of the do-your-job mentality. But I think the Giants would be back. That's a great franchise, mm-hmm. great ownership, and uh, and I'm sure Ben McAdoo and, and the uh, general manager, they'll find other good spots. It's also... That's indicative of any any business or any team as well. Is that sometimes you're not in the right seat on the bus, and you move mm-hmm. to another seat, and you may exactly. you may flourish. So, um, I think yeah, it's been an interesting week in sports. We're talking to our buddy Drew Bedard. Obviously, college football. We got you know, two big stories. Obviously, the college football playoff. You've got Alabama who pleaded and and they heard him. They heard the appeal. They heard the plead. They said we should be there, and they are. They're taking on Clemson. That'll be in New Orleans on New Year's Day. Then the Rose Bowl will be number two Georgia, number three Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. Uh, two great matchups. So great matchups. Uh, did they get it right? Do you think? I think so. Um, I also think that the committee. I know it changes from time to time, but I think the committee was a little shell shocked after Ohio State's loss last year um, to Clemson, wasn't it? That mm-hmm. they lost to Clemson mm-hmm. in the uh, semifinal game. So I think that factored into it a little bit, but. Ultimately, it's the committee's job to put the four best teams in the playoff. Mm-hmm. Now, Alabama didn't make it to the SEC championship. Ohio State did, and they won. And uh, you got to give it up to Ohio State and Urban Meyer. I mean, what a great program. What a great – I mean, their competitiveness. There's an argument, of course, from probably 50% of people, maybe 49% of people, that Ohio State could be there. But Alabama is – they were number one for three quarters, maybe, what, seven-eighths of the season mm-hmm. until Auburn beat them. So you have to look at that and say they're still one of the strongest teams in the country, and I think they're going to give Clemson all they can handle. So mm-hmm. you have to look at those two matchups. Are they going to be competitive? Do, first, do they deserve to be there? But two, are they going to have competitive matchups that give you the best championship possible? So for my vote, I think they got it right. We're going to talk about Pinnacle Speedway and Life's Power, but TVA coming up here in a minute because it's up and running, obviously, it is mm-hmm. the season. We're going to talk about that. But uh, does this bring up the question now to expand the number of teams in the playoffs from four to – Absolutely. Okay. I mean, if I – I mean, I'm one of those. Like, you know, I love the baseball. Uh, I, I mean, I, I think all uh, March Madness, I mean, you look at – yes, I mean, absolutely, I think that they should expand it. And But I think that – this is probably an argument to say, but it makes it so compelling. Even though there's 60 whatever teams in March Madness now, mm-hmm. um, what it's it's over 64 now because I mean, they have a play-in game mm-hmm. or whatever. 66. 66. So mm-hmm. you look at that, but it, you still you get that number 16 seed. That's the Cinderella story. I mean, look at Butler all these years that made these late runs into the Elite Eight. Um, that's a great point. I think. You know, the more teams that make it in, it just makes it so much fun to watch. Even if somebody gets the, you know, the doors blown off, it's sometimes, I, you, most of the time you don't have that because these kids are selling out. They're going all in for one game. They know that's probably all they have left. Um, so I could see an expansion to eight. I think that could make sense to most people because when you look at the field, that the top eight teams could probably play with each other. Mm-hmm. Now, when you get into 16, could you say, well, I don't know, but I think there's a case for that, too. I think there's a case to say, could the top 16 teams in the country, I mean, you look at it, some of these losses, I mean, Syracuse beating Clemson, and you look at I mean, it can happen on any mm-hmm. given day. Absolutely. You just That's why you put the, the cleats on is to go play and compete, and sometimes sometimes not the best team wins because the, other, the best team doesn't show up that day. I think the playoff system is wonderful, and I think the sports that have – that are that are thriving do it well and so uh, i'm all for it we're talking to drew bedard again the vice president of consumer marketing here at bristol motor speedway which by the way is a promotion he's been promoted since uh since the august race which is awesome and there's the new Thanks, title man. and he and <laughs> you see the proof in the pudding you see am i right in saying that the fall race in bristol if it wasn't the biggest race it was one of the top attended races in all of NASCAR this year? I believe it was the biggest race. If it wasn't, it was just behind the Daytona 500. That's what I thought. So, so he and the staff make that happen up here. I know this No, sounds, our fans make that happen. Well, I, know, I mean, you, it's, you, a, it's a wonderful brand to represent, and people love to come here from all over the world um, and all over the country to be a part of this. And we've been talking a lot about that lately. What makes Bristol special, and why do people come here from all over the country? Um, it's 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 a couple different pieces. Um, first, it's just the atmosphere. It's just a cool place. Sure. Coliseum, the racing, the camping, the fellowship. It's also just this region in general is that people are incredibly hospitable. 
Um, it's just a warm area of the country. It's such a cool area of the country as far as, so warm as far as hospitality. Cool as in, as in cool factor of the area itself with, the, you know, with the mountains and all the different tourist attractions and you've got Smoky Mountains just down the road. It's a, it's a, it's a great place to visit. In the country, they making fun of us up there. Yes, it is. Patrick this is our the, what, what you can't, what the folks at home can't see right now is we have what's called our fellowship table up here. Uh huh. So us as an organization, every Christmas season we make, uh, we put out a lot of snacks and food and and what happens is is that everybody around the office comes up and we there all we all break bread together. Yeah. And, so uh, they're up there going to the line laughing yeah, at us because we're having some talking. pizza and yeah. and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a chance for all of us as a staff to be able to spend some time together and talk where a lot of us were kind of passing each other in the hallways some days and working hard with our heads down. This is a great opportunity. What a You know, it's part of the holiday season. Now, he said all that, and he's right on everything he said, but I'm going to go back to his staff mm-hmm. creates the events, the racing, yes, but it's the stuff. It's like the carnival atmosphere. It's everything we do off, off out, in the field, uh, out in the complex, out on the grounds. So, yes, he has to take credit for it because, yes, Bristol sells itself because it's Bristol. But the events that you create to kind of coincide with the great racing, that's what he does in the staff. So they have a great staff up here. So you got to – well, you're not going to take credit for it. Jerry says it all the time, that I, and I feel the same way, and I know a lot of us do, is that this staff that, work, that works here mm-hmm. is the best in the business. Now, any track can say that, and I'm sure if you went to any other general manager, they'd say that because they love their teams. But the types of events that, that we put on and what we do here, I really do think that and, – and a lot of times when we go to other other meetings with other tracks, there's a lot of stuff that's pulled from here. So a mm-hmm. lot of best practices and a lot of, um, you know, optimal operation and, and the excellence. I think it just it, – it came from Jeff Bird. It got passed along to Jerry and obviously – um, from Bruton and Marcus Smith all the way down, we try to operate these facilities to the best, you know, possible standards, and try to treat our customers right. So, imitation, the sincerest form of flattery. So there you go. All right, college football. Back to the Tennessee yeah. situation. What do we do? Oh, who who do we go get? Do we get Les Miles? Do we go get Todd Graham, the guy that let go at Arizona mm-hmm. State? Mm-hmm. Does he go back and revisit with Kevin Sumlin? Uh, is there somebody out there as an X factor we're not speaking of? Who, do, who would you go? You're the man. Go get me a football coach to turn this thing around in Tennessee. Who would you get? Well, I would take a really hard look at T. Martin. I'd, I'd have to. I'd have okay. to be able to be convinced that that's a that's a no at this time. I think T. is going to be a head coach, but I have to be convinced that that's a no at this time. But I think T. is doing such a great job at USC, and could be the future head coach of the Vols. I think with Phil Fulmer being reinstalled or being brought mm-hmm. back to the program mm-hmm. and being installed as athletic director, you're going to see, I think, I think it's already shown that he is trying to bring the family back together. Mm-hmm. He's trying to bring everybody back together, and he's, he made mention of it in his press conference about that he said something in there about it's been nine years since, and that's since he's coached, mm-hmm. that they've had a level of excellence now. I'm not sure if that's all the way there. Little but I think, yeah. I think Coach Fulmer is a wonderful guy, and I mm-hmm. think he's a great leader. I love the steps that he took right after the press conference of talking to the kids and talking to the recruits, and I'm sure John Curry was doing a wonderful job too. It's just an unfortunate situation that happened. If I'm in his seat, I'm probably more patient than, you know, I'm probably looking at this as a week process from when I got installed as athletic director to really take a hard look and make a great decision for the university because knowing that you're, first of all, it's a lot of money. Second, you know you're married to this person for probably five years. Mm-hmm. Um, I liked the idea, I saw an idea of, and I don't know if this is possible, but of potentially less miles. I hadn't always been his biggest fan, but but obviously he had great success there and a great recruiter and probably a lot more people know more about him than I do but and love the idea of him installing some really top-notch coordinators and I think that could be a, a good situation for Tennessee to move forward um, I think it, it felt like coach Fulmer was looking for experience so I don't know if that you know has T Martin at the end of the road but it's been such an in, it's been a really tough brand week for Tennessee, but I think they'll come out of it stronger. Mm-hmm. So, Les Miles' numbers, by the way, 114 and 32 in 12 years, two SEC West titles, uh, an SEC championship and the national championship uh, in 12 seasons. So, uh, to me, you go after a guy that's been there, he can get it turned around. What about this? What about Fulmer? 
don't know if he can wear two hats. Now, last week I said that he may be the answer to be the interim head coach a couple of years, bring somebody in, groom him underneath him. But he's since, of course, been now the AD, so he's going to get a, another person in. But still, uh, bring T. Martin in. This guy obviously loves Tennessee. Uh, he's doing a great job as a coordinator at Southern Cal. You know, he's evolved for life. Bring him back in and groom him as the head coach. There's lots of different variables, but I guess the biggest piece right now, Drew, is December the 20th to the 22nd is his first national signing day for football recruits. The NCAA has implemented the new one, along with the first Wednesday in February, which is the standard. So it's right around the corner, obviously. Today's the fourth year, 16 days away. Somebody's got to get down there and kind of shore this thing up and try and save the, the, the bacon, if you will, as far as these recruits. So it's a hurry up and wait again. You got to get a coach, but you want to get the right coach, but you want to try and keep these guys that are decommitting left and right to, to stay at Tennessee. So he's got his hands full right now. I think Coach Fulmer's probably going to call all these kids and he's going to say, and for the ones that were hopefully incoming and the ones that have already committed and, of course, the current kids, he's going to say, just stick with me. I've been through this before. I've brought us to a championship. He's probably going to install a coach before then because he wants the the action on signing day to make sure that the kids are excited about who their coach is. I don't think he's going to coach again. I think he wants to do a really good job as athletic director because mm-hmm. there's big money in being an athletic mm-hmm. director. Good point. And so if you split yourself off and you make your focus two, three different things of, oh, I'm going to coach and I'm going to – no, I just don't think that works. You have to specialize in in today's day and age. And I think he wants to do a really good job because he wants to stay the athletic director. So you're going to see him take his time, get this process right, but probably do it before signing day. But, B, I think he wants to be a great athletic director, not be a a good coach or a a decent coach and a decent athletic director. I think he's on it. 20 days out from Christmas. We've been talking all morning here about the best value in NASCAR is a season ticket next year for $149 for five days of racing here at the Speedway. So uh, uh, looking at Cameron appeal to folks for Christmas, it's uh, what a better way to wake up Christmas morning if you're a NASCAR fan or you're not a NASCAR fan. We're going to make you a NASCAR fan because once you come to Bristol, I promise you, you're hooked. Make the appeal that now's the time to get Season tickets for Christmas presents, stocking stuffers. It's a great time to get season. I so season tickets. I think is a great value. It is a great value. It's mm-hmm. a, it's twenty five percent off single day tickets. You get tons of perks and incentives. So season tickets are a great value here if you want to come to both race weekends, which a lot of people do. Um, but I want to make an appeal to people who are saying, "Well, hey, man, I don't know if I want to commit to the whole year, but I I want to come to a Bristol race next year." and you're in this area, and a lot of people listen from this general region, is go to Food City. Mm -hmm. There's great prices there. Or you can call our team here. But go to Food City. There's a great value. $50 tickets to the Food City, $560 tickets to the night race next year. Check that at $10 kids tickets to Mm -hmm. both of those cup races. So it's a great value for Christmas. And you can. what we'll do is if you do get those, we'll email them to you so you can get them under the tree somehow by December 25th. Um, But... If you have any questions whatsoever about tickets for next year, about what we want to make it very personal. Mm-hmm. So if you've got questions, the best thing to do is to call our ticket office mm-hmm. and they can answer all of your questions. 866-415-4158 or 423-BRISTOL if you're local. But call our team, let them answer and guide you through the process because they're really good at that. And they'll get you into the right mm-hmm. into the right ticket package. So give us a call. Give us a chance. Um, come see us next year. And then if you're out here at Speedway and Lights, you can always stop in. You're going to get more information. Obviously, you can go down to Christmas Village. and But there, there's plenty to be excited about mm-hmm. next year. I think this young crop of drivers mm-hmm. um, is really interesting. I think it's going to be fun. I think Ryan Blaney and Kyle Larson, uh, led by those guys and, and some others. I mean, you, you just William Byron and there's Alex Bowman. You've got – go down the list. You've got young fun talent i think this sport's going to turn to more of a you know a youth i mean it's already moving towards a youth movement but it's going to make for really fun competitiveness on the track and i think that's going to it's going to be interesting come april chase briscoe christopher bell mm-hmm. Noah, the kid that helped us i say the kid the driver helped us do the noah gregson oh, yeah. noah gregson called the race up here in the fall race man that guy's he is He's dialed in. He knows what's going on. It's These obviously. kids are real media savvy, too. Yep. They're social media savvy. I mean, they, they get it. They know how to Bubba Wallace. They know how to interact with people, with their fans, and I think that that's going to be a really important for the next phase of NASCAR. Got your Christmas shopping done? My wife does, for the most part. My wife sent me something this morning that I cracked Boom. up about. She said, it's always, you know, some, some meme or something like that that said, 
it's always fun to watch my husband's uh, face on Christmas morning when he when the kids open up the presents and he sees what we got them. Like, you know that <laughs> that whole thing. Um, my wife does a wonderful job as 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 mom and CEO of the house. But yes, I'm definitely consulted on most <laughs> presents. Um, I don't really see them come in, and my wife is probably. You should see me wrap Christmas presents. It's oh. pretty ugly. So. Oh, I'd love to see that. But we're going to come yeah. back up here so. before Christmas and do another show because I Good. love coming up here. And, and uh, I know this sounds really cheesy and really sappy, but it's an honor for me to be up here and be a part of these around these folks two weeks out of the year, two weekends. And and uh, it's they've asked me to do the PA and all started with the late Jeff Bird and hooked up with this guy. And so, you know, it, it is. Does that sound cheesy and sappy that I'm honored to be part of this the team? The pleasure's here? all on this side of the oh, table. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> On that note, we're going to take a break. I'll see you next week, all right? All right, man. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> we'll be right back here on the Tom Dota Sports Show. This is Phil Pipkin, owner of Phil's Dream Pit. Do you like smoked turkey? Do you like smoked ham? For your Christmas or New Year's dinner, enjoy a spiral sliced smoked ham or smoked turkey breast smoked right here at Phil's Dream Pit. Smoked ham's 9 to 11 pounds at 8.50 a pound. The smoked turkey breast goes from 2 to 4 pounds at 11.49 per pound. Order by Tuesday, December the 19th. Pick up Friday, December the 22nd or Saturday, December 23rd. Let us take care of your Christmas or New Year's dinner with a smoked turkey breast or spiral smoked ham. Call 349-6437. Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air conditioned, cushion seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City opens six days a week. Call today at 913 it's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here are the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers' comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400. Your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. The 2018 Cal Calendar in now for a limited time at Chick-fil-A, The Crossings, in North Johnson City. A 20th anniversary retrospective titled Steers of Yesteryear, including a card with a wide range of free food offerings across the Chick-fil-A menu. Only $8 plus tax, but hurry, supplies are limited. Each month gives you the chance to collect free Chick-fil-A menu items. The offers vary each month, but hurry, supplies are limited. The 2018 Chick-fil-A Steers of Yesteryear Calendar on sale now at Chick-fil-A at the Crossings in North Johnson City. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City. One of the things that owner Tim Smith is most proud of is their hard-earned certifications. We are an ASC Blue Seal shop, which is important because what it tells the customer is we care enough to get certified, not in one certain area of cars, 
you have to be certified in eight different certifications in eight different tests you have to take and you have to be updated on them yearly to to make sure that you're uh, up to date we not only have one of those we have three ASE master technicians here with the ratio goes into a ratio and it, we're a blue seal shop so uh, it tells you that we, we care about training and we care about knowing about your car we want to help fix it right American Import and Auto Repair, West Market Street, Johnson City, home of the free loaner car program. Open six days a week. Call today, 913-3111. Hi, I'm Rob Cole with Bays Mountain Park. There's something for everyone at Bays Mountain Park. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or simply looking to get away and relax, Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport, Tennessee is the perfect destination. For only $4 per vehicle, enjoy 3,500 acres of breathtaking scenery, featuring 40 miles of hiking trails, wildlife habitat, one of the southeast premier planetariums, and much, much more. For more information, please visit www.baysmountain.com or call us at 423-229-9447. Bays Mountain Park, one of the Tri-Cities' best places for learning, leisure, and recreation. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30-plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad-spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard. We've got you covered. Your life is always changing. You never know what shape it will take or how your financial needs might change. But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today. Final segment of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. We are live here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Let's go to the phone. He's our buddy William Yarber from Max Medicine Mark. And good afternoon, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Tom. How are you today? Just fine, sir. Thanks for checking in with us. And brand new month, brand new supplement on sale at Max Medicine Mark. Nature's Way. You sell a bunch of Nature's Way every year, and every time you put it on sale, tell me about it, would you please? Oh, yeah. It, it flies off the shelf every time we put it on sale. It's it's one of the more extensive brands that we carry here. We have nearly their entire product line. They're a really great company. They specialize in you know single herbs. They do a great job with their probiotics and uh, even multivitamins. So they're kind of all over the place, but they have you know great products, very reputable. So it, it, it's a good company that we have here that can you know really kind of tend to every aspect of the needs. Typically, what are some of the products that fly out of there under the Nature's Way brand? What are some of the folks people come in and get here when they go on sale? Definitely the probiotics. We carry at least 15 different kinds of their probiotics, and those range from anywhere from 3 billion up to 200 billion, which is a, a really good dose. So you know, anytime those go on sale, we really, yeah, those really fly off the shelves. Yep, we're talking to, again, our buddy, again, William Yarber from Max Medicine Mart. So Nature's Way is 20% off. Uh, let's talk about snacks. A lot of folks uh, entertaining this time of year, both at home and in business or church or whatever, need a need a good healthy snack. Give us some of those options again for Max Medicine Mart and the Good Food Grocery. Yeah, I mean, as far as snacks go, we definitely have it covered. Uh, we you know we always talk about our extensive line of chips and selection of chips. So you know we always we do have those, and we have a few new ones uh, out right now that we've kind of gone in for testing to see how they go in the store some new cheese puffs and some different flavors of the kettle cook chips so we got some some new additions to the lineup there and you know stonewall kitchen that's you know it's great for snacks they do really great crackers there's a, a rosemary cheese cracker that 
was really popular here. And they have a few like holiday mixes too. So they have you know the gingerbread cookie mix, and there's also some cake mixes, cheddar biscuit mix. Uh, you know, it's, they really do great with their jellies as well. So you know, those make you know awesome gift or awesome conversation piece. You know while you're entertaining. So and then you know we also have some like the frozen stuff. We have you know vegan ice creams, um, gluten free donuts, gluten free pies and cheesecakes. Those are really popular this time of year. Um, Cats makes a really great gluten free cherry pie that we carry here wonderful stuff and you know over in the over the counter section too we have gift boxes made up that contains the Troyer cheeses and crackers salsas with a few different you know styles set up but those are a great you know last minute gift or a great thing to bring to you know a holiday party so we kind of got you covered with all your stuff and little gift boxes we've got Karen made up and also Faraday's peanuts we have some holiday gift packs mm-hmm. for them that have a it's a three pack yeah there's a peanut brittle that's really great and then your center is the salted peanuts and then the last one on the end is the chocolate covered peanuts so yeah awesome great gift or just something to bring along to a holiday party exactly and of course we got some of those last year and we were traveling out of town and ate all three of the cans before i got to my destination i was bloated up with peanuts man it was good (laughs) good stuff it was really good and so uh, i can give you a testimony on that one we're talking to william yarber again we're live here Bristol Motor Speedway will be at Max Medicine Mart next Monday, a week from today, broadcasting live. Can't wait to be there with William and Dr. Barry Walton and the folks. So we talk about teas all the time. We've got cold weather coming. I think it's this weekend's going to be down to the teens here, overnight lows. So cold weather's are coming, so we knew it would be. It'd be a great time to get some teas, and you got all kinds of teas, all different flavors at Max Medicine Mart. Tell me about it. Yeah, we, we sure do. Our, our uh, tea aisle is very extensive. I think... I was trying to think of what I told you last time, how many we had. Uh, it, was, it was over the hundred, so we have over a hundred different kinds of tea available. And, you know, those range from just preference and flavor to, you know, we also have teas that have a function behind them as well. So, you know, this time of year we have, you know, we have respiratory support, we also have immune boosters, and there's also, you know, some for detoxification purposes. So, you know, if, if you're looking for, you know, a flavor or a function behind your tea, you know, we, we definitely have you covered. Uh, Republic of Tea has some really great holiday teas that we're carrying right now. There's a one that's peppermint bark. It's a really great seasonal tea. It's only available until January. And then there's another. It's called Dream by the Fire. It's more of a cinnamon caridum type of black tea. That's also one of their seasonals that you know we can only carry until around January. And they stop stop producing it for the year. So there's some great holiday teas. And then, like I said too, we also have you know just some you know with functions behind them as well. So Whatever you're looking for, T-wise, or anything else, we definitely have you covered. It's all available here again at Max Medicine Mart, where we're talking about make tracks to Max. We're here at Bristol Motor Speedway. And hello to Becky Hickenbottom up in West Virginia watching. Thank you, Becky. She says the show looks great, and I appreciate that very much. So she's watching, listening, and also uh, Chris Payne at Eastman's and Vicki Heiss and Donna Bryant. Uh, let's see, Bill Patrick, Kathy Sparks, some of the folks watching the show, and we appreciate that very much. So William again, Max Medicine Mart. Make tracks to Max, and so once you come into the left is where you are at Good Food Grocery, and it's more than just a pharmacy. Max Medicine Mart uh, has a lot of things going, doesn't it? They do a lot of different things. We sure do. We, you know, we try to have you know everything that nobody else has. We try to stay unique. So uh, seems like we've done a pretty good job with that so far. Oh, absolutely. Nature's Way, twenty percent off the snacks, the teas. They've got the. Uh, Oh, gosh, all the different, uh, just went totally blank. What's the name of the figurines you sell a bunch of for Christmas and, and throughout the year? Oh, the Willow, Willow Tree. Tree. Willow Tree Angels. Here Willow Tree. A lot yeah. of Willow Tree flies out yeah. there. So, And lots of Christmas oh, yeah. displays We've... and Christmas ornaments right there in the front when you walk in. So it's more than just a pharmacy. It's There's a lot of different options in there to, to purchase lots of different things. And as before we close here, tell me, give me one thing you have a good food grocery that you would, most folks walk in and go, Wow, I didn't know you all had that at Mike Smith Smart in the grocery. Tell me what what would be one thing you think would surprise people. The first thing that comes to mind is dairy free, gluten free cheesecakes. Mm. So that, that's kind of one one I hear pretty frequently, and they they are very good. I've you know I've tested them all myself, <laughs> so they're <laughs> they are great. There's like a key lime flavor. It's wonderful. Strawberry, and they have you know your original, and then a chocolate. So a lot of people like to take the the original and get like one of the stonewall kitchen jams or jellies pour over top of it so you can kind of have your own flavor mm-hmm. that's but good that, yeah it's it's mm-hmm. definitely can't find those anywhere else 
All right, before I let you go, give me the hours you're open to Max Meadows tomorrow, would you please? Sure, yeah. Monday through Friday, we're open 8 to 7. Saturday, we're open 8 to 6, and we're still still going on Sunday 1 to 5. There you go. For all of your needs, make tracks to Max. I'll see you Monday, all right? Hey, sounds good. All right, great job, my friend. I'll talk to you then. All right, see you, Tom. All right, good man right there, buddy, William Yarber. He's wrapping up the show. How about that? We're shutting this thing down. So, again, thanks to Drew Bedard who stopped by. You want to talk, dear? You want to come on the camera? This is one good-looking lady right here. Come on over here and pull that pull that seat up right there, and we'll get her on. We hear laws in mercy. Mm-hmm. And she's pulling right up beside me. That's what I like. That's what I'm talking about. Put this on right here. When you get settled in, I'm going to get you on camera. This was a pleasant surprise here. There. I didn't even know you were here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be here next Wednesday. You got it? You going to be here next Wednesday? I hope. You what vacate? is next Wednesday? 13th. I think I am. Well, I hope so. Yeah. So, and, uh, uh, so anyway, I want to say hello to the folks up in West Virginia. Hello to Becky Eckenbottom watching and AT. And there's a lot of folks. Hello to Rick down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida watching. Uh, also, we just Phil Litton over in Myrtle Beach watching today. And, of course, a lot of folks at Eastman watching this. So tell everybody who you are, young lady. Look up in that camera and tell them who you is. Hello, everybody. I'm Miranda White. I'm with Bristol Motor Speedway. I'm mm -hmm. group sales manager. Mm -hmm. And we're gearing up for 18, right? We are gearing up for 2018, yes. Yeah. Now, phones are ringing. The phones are ringing. It's all we want because folks really are booking. And, and we were talking about the season tickets for $149 for five days of racing here at Bristol's. But tell folks what you do because you know, they go, gosh, we want to bring a group to Bristol Motor Speedway in the spring or fall or both. And you're just the lady who can help them. Yes, I am. Myself as well as Ashton. But we work with anyone who wants to bring 20 or more people to the Bristol Motor Speedway. We customize packages and we do whatever we can to make sure that you have an experience here at Bristol. Mm -hmm. So give us some examples of some of the types of uh, church groups. I know you bring them in, college yes. groups, corporate groups. Yes. You're naming them. Yeah. Associations. Um, mm -hmm. It can be a fishing club. It can be a bowling club. It could be a family reunion. Um, yeah, we have the college groups. We have the fraternities who come. We have um, just anybody who wants to bring 20 or more. Um, we have a group called There and Back Again, and they are out of Savannah, Georgia. They've been coming with us for quite a while. Um, they're coming back. We have a group called Top Tier Travel from Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. So they're coming back. We have a group called Westgate. They're coming back. They're in um, Orlando, Florida. And then we have somebody, uh, a new group, um, coming from Ontario and Canada. They'll be here. Awesome. So we're excited. Um, and that's just the little that I'm naming off, but we have a lot of groups that are coming and very excited. Can't yes. wait to meet them and uh, make sure that they have a good time and have an experience. And the most beautiful thing about it is when the new groups come, they just get blown away by Bristol. Oh, absolutely. Two kinds of customers, new and repeat. And, of course, I know it makes you feel good that they've come here, had the experience you knew they were going to have, and said, man, we want to come back because I'm telling you, you know, it sounds cheesy and it sounds like a pitch, and it's not. Once you come here, whether it's Speedway and Lights mm -hmm. or come to the, any of the races or just come here, I know people come here as they're traveling through and take a tour and walk down to the track. The place sells itself, doesn't it? It does. It really does. But if you are a group or a corporation, association, mm -hmm. business, if you want to come and do more than just take a tour, we have a lot of people who rent out our suites um, and have lunch here as well. And, and then they'll take a ride on the track. So we can do all kind of different things to mm -hmm. make you love Bristol like we do. This lady can make it happen. So there's a phone number or a website or both. How do we get a hold of you? Well, you can get hold of me by calling 423-989-6904. And my email address is Miranda, M-I-R-O-N-D-A, at BristolMotorSpeedway.com. Or you can go on our website, www.BristolMotorSpeedway.com. Got your Christmas shopping done? No. Have you started? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> last night. Well, kicked it in last night. Last night I started. Yeah. So. And so. We're How about well, you? Yeah, oh, yeah. We're, we're pretty well done. Okay. So Good. I uh, got a few left. Not many, but, yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to get ahead of them so I can sit back and enjoy Christmas for what it's not get out there and get caught up in the hustle and bustle and okay. all that. Well, so. how are those beautiful granddaughters? Oh, they're the ones I'm buying for. They're ready. Good. They've got the count. They've got it down by the minute, not the day. It's like. <laughs> They got it down to the minutes till Christmas gets here. You know, that's what it's all about. The right, kids. Yeah, my little one's not little anymore. No. She's 22. Mm. She's down in Orlando. She works for she the mouse. She ain't old enough to have a kid 22 <laughs> years old. She looks like she's 20 herself. So, wow. But you got one working for Mickey. 
I do. Not Disney. I do, but she comes back <clears throat> and she volunteers here at the Bristol Motor Speedway every spring and fall race. So we'll come back next Wednesday. We're going to talk more about the Pinnacle Speedway and Lights Power of the TVA. But why don't you, in closing, give give our folks a bird's eye view slash testimonial of Speedway and Lights? There's a lot of folks that have never been here that are watching from out of state. Oh, my goodness. You definitely have to come if you've never been here. But even if you have been here, we definitely want you back because, mm -hmm. you know, the property is four and a half miles and it's just lights on both tracks. You get to ride on the drag track as well as down on the NASCAR track with your vehicle. Mm -hmm. And then you can go inside into um, the Christmas Village. Mm -hmm. Santa's in there. Mm -hmm. You can go in there and get a picture with him. Mm -hmm. And then there's also a lot of local vendors there, too. So mm -hmm. the food is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Bring your kids. The kids will absolutely love it. You can roast marshmallows. And there's some rides down there that they can participate on. So, yeah. She did it. She nailed it. How much does it cost to get in? 15 bucks a car, Sunday through Thursday. $20 on Friday and Saturday night. So, again, uh, I would say if you did it right, it, you should plan on spending at least an hour and a half, probably two hours in here, right? Yes. At the minimum. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So it's not mm -hmm. just going to blow through. Because you drive your car, if you've never been here, you, you kind of slowly snake your cars at the property. But uh, And there's a lot of folks here. And there's a new tunnel. New tunnel. Oh, did you tell them about that? No, you are. Well, there's a new tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> so we're by the drag. It's phenomenal. You definitely have to come and take a look at it. And so, um, yeah, go on our website. Take a look. Also, we have BMS Express, mm -hmm. the Bristol Motor Speedway Express bus. So you definitely need to call the ticket office or go on our website and take a look. And then we also have the Christmas sleigh. She's on it. The BMS Express, which is taking an old school bus and made it into the Polar Express. And then the part I'm going to do is the Santa Speedway Sleigh, which is uh, it's an open-air tram ride. Of course, yes. you get blankets. And this weekend, supposed to get down to the teens. And it is open seven days a week, uh, all the way through January the 6th. But yeah, that's the way to go. Of course, you have to call ahead of time for that. But it's 989-6900. But it is an open-air tram ride. I've never been to Bristol Perfect because you have an employee that's going to be on there with you to kind of give you a tour and kind of step you through what you see and what's going on. And so it's uh, it's really neat. So yeah, actually, wanna... I'm working it Wednesday. Are you really? Yeah, so come on out. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving the tours on Wednesday? I'm giving the tours on the sleigh ride. On Santa Speedway sleigh. Yes. See, I want to come up here one night and, and, and take up the money, be up in one of the little things and wave at people as they come through and pay. Well, who, who do I sign up for that? I want to do that. All you have to do is go over here, call Betsy. Betsy's She'll get lady. you or go over here to the ticket office. We'll get you. Mm -hmm. I love we coming. love volunteers. Oh, I love We love right. volunteers. That'd be cool. So, and plus, uh, down inside the uh, Christmas Village, inside down in the, where the cars and the pits during race season, is Christmas Village, she said, there's also a big display where you can buy Bristol Motor Speedway merchandise. Yes. And some of it's discounted. Uh, some great stuff that make great stocking stuffers for BMS, along with those season tickets. So uh, it's a no-brainer. But she said the key to go to all of this is BristolMotorSpeedway.com, the website. Yes, definitely. She, she didn't even know she was going to be on. She'd come down to get a talk and we'll probably get a hug when we get over here. <laughs> and, and we put her on there, and she knocked it out of the ballpark, as well, you always do. You. Thank yeah. you very much. Oh, she's awesome. Don't forget to call for groups. We want you. <laughs> <laughs> forget all that. 989-6904. Yes. Call her. There you go. Call them for groups because you are booking now, aren't you? We are booking now. Oh, absolutely. Always. April's not that far away, folks. I mean, let's face it. What is it? Uh, January, February, March. We're talking 120 days. We'll be right back in here with a big racing weekend, the Food City 500, and yes. Jimmy Johnson and back Jimmy in Johnson. town to defend his crown. Thank you, dear. Thank you. You are. Uh, this lady's awesome. <laughs> We go back how many years, our friendship? Oh, I'm, I've been here seven, so what, seven years? Seven or eight years, yeah. Seven years. Need a lady. So yeah. I keep. I got up here. I apologize. She's not William Yarber. She's Miranda White. But anyway, so I'll see you hopefully next week. I'll be here. Back here next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Bring Ashton down, the newlywed. The newlywed. The newlywed. Do you know we're white and white now? <laughs> She's Her name married. is Ashton White, <laughs> and I'm Rhonda White, and so we're white and white. The tag team and the group sales department, yes. white and white. There you go. She's a sweetheart. That's our buddy again, Rhonda White, so I thank her very much. We're out of time. We sincerely thank you for yours. We're going to bring it back uh, tomorrow. We'll be at Movement Mortgage. Then on Wednesday, we're going to be at Chick-fil-A. On Thursday, we'll be broadcasting live for Champion Chevrolet. And Friday, Food City Friday, will be this week, Food City on Eastman Road in Kingsport. We're out of time. As we've told you, we dedicate this show to the man who hung on the cross. And, hey, I'll let her read the verse of the day before we get out of here. In the book of Numbers, I read at the start of the show, 
This show is going to be as successful as the Lord wants it to be, and today is show number 646. Read our, read our verse today, sunshine, would you please? I will bless you and keep you. Mm. I will make my face to shine upon you. Mm. I will turn my face towards you and give you peace. Mm. That's numbers 6, 24 through 27. Mm. Love Pretty your good. heavenly father. Oh, man. He's the king of kings and lord of lords. It's all about him. Amen. We're just passing through. See you next week. See you next week. We're out of time. We sincerely thank you for yours. As always, we'll tell you until we greet you tomorrow morning from Movement Mortgage in uh, Johnson City, across from the Cracker Barrel Boone's Creek, to where there Jeremy lives in the folks. Until then, as always, we'll say win or lose, be a good sport. So long, everybody. <laughs>